All right, hello and welcome to another episode of the Collingwood FC Creator Club Career Mode. Now, I know this is probably not what everyone wants to see because I did promise 2K22 content, but trust me, that is on the way. I'm going to record a My Rise episode either tomorrow or Saturday, and it'll be out on either one of those days as well. So look forward to that, and there'll be more 2K22 content coming ASAP, I promise you. But um, we've obviously got to keep with the uh, upload schedule for this series. Don't just leave, these, uh, leave this series in the dirt, even though we've not had a brilliant start to the season. So taking a look at last episode's results, I uh, don't really want to go into that from, to be honest, because it wasn't a great one, but um, we will take a look anyway. It was an awful start, I'm not going to lie, against Coventry. They just completely outplayed us. I don't know how it was 5-1, to be honest with you, but they just completely did us in, to be honest with you. Um... Excuse me, got hiccups. We then took on Stoke, got a little win there. Well, it wasn't really a little win. It was a big win in terms of the episode and in terms of the scoreline, actually. It was a 5-2 victory over Stoke that we really needed. Uh, we channeled something and we just popped off. Um, we then, unfortunately, just came up short against Reading. A 3-2 loss when it really could have been the other way around, quite frankly, and it wasn't, unfortunately. And then uh, against Watford... Two all draw. I think we had more chances than them in the end, but I'll take a point happily against the league leaders. I'm not going to complain about that, especially when we can't really get points anywhere else. So this episode, we've got Bristol City at home. I think they're near the bottom. I'll check their uh, position in the table in a second. We've then got Cardiff City away, followed by a two-week break, which is going to be brilliant. Good little break before we uh, take on Sheffield Wednesday at Hillsborough. And then we'll finish off at the KCOM Stadium. Oh, no, we won't. We'll be finishing at Roywood Terrace, sorry, against Hull, who I don't know where they are in the league, but I'm assuming they'll be in the relegation battle. And then, of course, um, we won't be doing Barnsley today. That'll be next episode, and then we'll continue from there. So, four more games. We need 12 points if we want to be in the promotion race because of rapidly falling out of it. I don't think we're far off playoffs. Because it's still early in the season. We'll only win off of playoffs. But in terms of getting the title, which obviously isn't going to be possible. Uh, we're already 10 points off. Or is it 11 points? 12 points. Numbers are difficult. Um, we're 8 points off Norwich as well. And since the board wants to finish automatic um, an automatic promotion spot, that's got to be the one we look at the most. I don't think we will do it. Don't get me wrong. But that's what I'm going to be paying most attention to. Bristol City are 15th, I'm not really, like, I would expect to win here, but the way we've been playing, I'm not really betting on it, um, so, let's take a look here, um, did we get a scout report last time around, I can't remember, oh no, because it's the second, we were one day off it, we get the scout report after this, but uh, we'll take a look at the updated uh, Youth Academy, Haugson and Kaklamanakis are looking brilliant, by the way, um, we're going to leave them in, uh, leave at least Hawkson in till his potential rounds out. Uh, Kaklamanakis can uh, probably get promoted at some point, but not yet because they've still got quite a big squad. Everson, uh, once he's 16, he'll be promoted. Uh, I think I'll probably sell him on, though, quite frankly. I don't know 100% yet. Smirnov could probably come up and be sold on. Barsakov, same. Samaras as well. I don't know if I'll sell him on or just loan him out just to see how they grow. Uh, but nobody needed to be released yet. It depends, honestly, on what we get on this um, next Youth Academy report. I just want to take a look at the objectives quickly. How are we 98? We've done one objective. <laughs> um, get a streak of 10 games, at least one goal scored this season. We've done 12 now. Uh, we've got to sell two players and sign two crucial players to replace them. We can do that. That's only one player in January we need to get, which ain't too bad. Gain automatic promotion. What happened? FA Cup could happen. I think we're going to get most of them done. It is just going to be um, the automatic promotion I think we'll miss out on, if I'm being quite transparent with you. FA Cup run is an Hello. interesting one because we'll either have a really good cup run or we'll just crash out time. early. Please be patient. You'll all get a turn. There is literally no in between with me. Why is this? What? Dordovic? Does Damien Dordovic leaving the club weaken your team? I mean, I'm sure it's not such a big deal. I'm not sure it's such a big deal for us. He's not that. He wasn't ever that involved. Like if he'd said Nikolai Arlo, then I would have said, yeah, bit of a problem. But we've got the cover necessary. Bristol City versus Collingwood looks like an even game. Uh, we're not going to underestimate them because Coventry and mid table when we face them, I believe. 
and we got battered, so... I'm not really, really sure, to be honest with you. Um, happy with your squad? Uh, put all it together. I wouldn't say I'm happy with it, um, but DeAngelo is starting to come back into it. Caballero started to bring his uh, form that we don't love back as well. That's all. Thank you, guys. So I'm not really opposed. But at the same time, we still need some performances from the likes of Shu Hu. Um, we've got some performers that not really perform at the level you'd expect. Uh, at this point in the career mode, you've got some players who are doing very well, but some who aren't, unfortunately. So, like I said, taking a look at the table, we are 11th with a game in hand. If we win this, we can uh, catapult ourselves back into playoffs, but I don't know if we will win it is the thing. So, before we go in, we'll take a look at the squad. Did we have any injuries from last time? I don't think we did. I think we're injuryless. I mean, we've got Marin, but that was an injury that was already... Was that last episode or was that the episode before? I can't remember. We're going to start with Lish going goal. Maybe um, controversial, but we are going to start with Lish going goal. Fernandez looks a little tired, so we'll put Ferretti on this side. Mariah's also looks a little tired, though. I think we just had a game, didn't we, against Watford, so no wonder some players are still tired. Um, everyone else seems to be okay, though. Everyone else seems to have recovered all right. Um, but we're not even going to use this formation, so I don't know why I'm on this formation. We're going to go back to the one striker. I want to see what Shuhu can do up top. Yeksov, I'd absolutely love to continue playing because he's been brilliant, but he is tired, so he'll uh, drop back to the bench for this game. Shuhu can come in here. Vlasic is quite tired. Okay. I forgot that Vlasic was quite tired. Maybe we'll go back to the other formation. <laughs> All right, uh, Vlasic doesn't have great stamina by the looks of it, so we'll go back to this formation. Ignore me. Um, Volchenkov and Shuhu can set up top. Actually, no, I think Latanzio wanted the game, didn't he? You know what? I give anyone a chance to prove themselves once. But I need—I want. Well, I don't really need Shuhu. I'd like Shuhu up top. And by no means am I forgetting about Yeksov. This is just a recovery game for him. Fernandez and Mariah. I think uh, Mariah's is more exhausted, so we'll give Mariah's. We're going to give Mariah's the full game off, but Bailey on the bench because Fernandez is probably going to tire quicker than Ferretti. But uh, I think that's what we go with. Not missing anyone, am I? I need to find a way to bring Meshkov into proceedings, honestly, so Vlasic can have a full rest. Um, Meshkov needs to have some game time. Thorne's got up to 70. But Brown has been the better player, in my opinion, this season so far. I mean, he's had slightly more opportunity. You know what? We'll give Gentle Thorne a run out. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, my God. I've been sneezing all my like, past few days. I apologize. I don't know what's up with me. I've not got COVID or anything. I've done a test, but... If I sneeze suddenly, I'll try and warn you beforehand, but I apologize. Right, so we've been pissing around enough on the menus. So let's get into the first game. Cover all we need to cover. So we've got Lish going goal, Ferretti and Fernandez as the full backs, Gomez and DeAngelis as the centre backs, Alexandria CDM, Caballero and Thorne the centre mid, Jay Mason the captain, Cam and King of the club. And then Laura Latanzio getting a start alongside Shu, who he wanted to start, so we're going to give him a chance to see if he can prove himself. He hasn't really had the chance at this level yet. So we'll give him a chance. We'll change the kits as well. We don't need to have the kits clashing, really, do we? Not necessary. We're at the ride with Terry. So we're doing a 4 one 2 one 2 narrow. They're doing a 4 4 2 flat. Um, it's not going to be an easy game, but none of them are. So I'm not really surprised if we don't get a win here. That being said, we need one. If we want to be in the playoff hunt. Forget about automatic promotion, because that's going to be the Norwiches or Watfords. Whichever team doesn't win the title will probably get that second place spot. Um, beyond that, playoffs is something realistic, or slightly more realistic, we can aim for. Uh, I don't think we're ready for the Premier League this season, but that's just me. You never know. Score one more with Mason. Oh, oh, he's just a king. He's ready for the Premier League. Our camera lens trained on one man in imperious form and the leading marksman in the league. Can he add to his total today on EA TV? Oh, 
Jay Mason from centre attack in mid, joint top scorer with Sam from Watford. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary, and alongside me is Stuart Robson. And the first very much again, Watford. I think Watford will win the league. What do you anticipate seeing, Stuart? It's early doors, I know that, but um, I don't think they've lost yet, have they? Actually, I think they lost to Reading, and that was it. Yeah, they're now, look at this table. They're, they're fucking off with it. He's slowing down a little bit, they're fucking off with it. Down the bottom end, it looks like Swansea, Hull, and Blackburn. Well, the fact of the and the relegation the battle early. Apologies the if there's any well, lag as well. Be Not great form, weather mate. again. And it bodes well for Scotland for you. Hopefully We're somehow the top scoring team, one match. ahead of Norwich. Uh, we always seem to be a top scoring team, but we always seem to be a top conceding team as well. We're not really good with... Um... I mean, to be honest, if you want to watch a ga uh, game of goals, you watch us, don't you? I mean, our game's a guaranteed goals. The lineup then for the hosts. That's what I could say about well, that. Two central midfield players need to have a different skill set. The holding midfield player has to be good defensively. We've gone Whereas strong, but we haven't gone over the top to strong because, of course, some players tired the from the smart. Watford game still. We've had to drop Mariahs for Ferretti Here's this game, which could be telling. Well, this system gives them a good defensive base. Well got a couple of players I can recognise, but in form we beat this team. In form we beat these with the problem, but problem is we're not in form. So, three points here is big. It will catapult us back into, I think it will catapult us above Millwall into sixth, which would be good. Goal difference, I think, for us is not very great, so I don't think it gets any higher than that. A loss, of course, will sink us further down the table, which is not what we need. What I do need is to switch players, you know, when I press the player switching, but... You know, don't let that ruin the, uh, ruin your story there, EA. Just the challenge that was required. Yeah, just gets in the way, and Alexandre has it been fouled. It's a stupid off. challenge early from uh, Sam Bell. Is it a yellow card? Yellow card of the game. No, Alexandre's not the not fastest. He could have caught up with him and taken the ball off him. But I left the teammate. There's a teammate in front that would have taken the ball off him if he hadn't done that as well. Not smartest play there from the Bristol City man. But I'm, I'll take it. Because it means he's got to watch himself for the next 87 minutes. Oh, fuck, that's not the touch we wanted. Yeah, it's the touch we got. The touch we wanted. All right, cool, we'll do that. I mean, D'Angelo's... He's okay at tackling, but his touch isn't brilliant. Thorne dropping back to receive the throw-in. Fernandez into Alexandre. I feel like this game's gotten harder since the uh, recent patches. I feel like I've got... Uh, it's more of a challenge with these sliders. Which is good. Don't get me wrong, it's good. It's just... I've got to point out, Dan just could tackle. I like the challenge, but at the same time, it is a bit weird. Lord Tanzio to Thorne. Try to pick up Mason. Mason. And to pass the Shuhu, perhaps. Angle doesn't really favour him, and Lord Tanzio's not going to get that because he's small. I mean, it's a it's an opportunity. It's a chance. It wasn't the greatest of angles. Maybe should have taken a bit more time with it. Let's play it to the middle, perhaps, but it's a chance on goal, and that's, I mean, that's a good opening kind of salvo for us. Will he play it in? This looks interesting. I don't know if I find it difficult to defend or if it's just difficult to defend this game anyway. Caballero has been sliced through. Is that Bell? Oh my god! One absolute idiot! Yeah, he just lost his discipline there. That's a really poor challenge. He should have been taken off. Much that is earlier. ridiculous. Is he just throwing the game here? It's a red card in the 13th minute for Sam Bell. Second yellow, he was warned. And now for the game, Bristol City are down to 10 men. I rate our chances a little bit more now. What an idiot. Bring some new confidence to the team. Shuhu into Mason. Latanzio receives. Hold up. Caballero. Instant. Instant impact after the red card. And Bruno Caballero is back. 
He's back to the form we know and love from him. One. Here at the Roydwood, and it honestly well, might become a big score now that we've the got the man advantage. Not a finish. Exactly he... I understand why it's lagging. I'm literally the only one using the internet, but you, you, you know. Don't let that get in the way of a good story either. Bruno Caballero puts us a goal to the good. It's only his third goal of the season, but he's cooking with gas now. Just needed a bit of time to get into the championship rhythm, I think. Him and DeAngelo both have improved since the past few episodes. Oh, Bruno, mate. Oh, he's back. And Thorn here. Jensen Thorn receiving it from Alexander. He's got a bit of pace about him. We'll be able to put a ball in. Back post. It wasn't really intended for Mace. It was more intended for Latanzio. It's just gone a little bit too far. And it's an easy bit of defence from Bristol City in the end. I had to make sure I said Bristol City rather than just Bristol because Bristol Rovers fans and Bristol City fans alike will get upset. We just need to play well now. I mean, to be honest, we don't need to play well. We just need to play half decent. Going about his business, oh, try to get that last little ball for it, Latanzio. It's just not quite come off in time. Good tackle. And now Bristol Rovers uh -huh. um, are not in this league, but it's Bristol City. They'll be attacking. Still trailing, but they're upping the pressure. We've already played Bristol Rovers this season in the cup. Beat them. Could we beat bro uh, both Bristol sides? Oh, Fernandez. Press the tackle. It's just not tackled. Oh. God, so. The Angelus, ref. Well, get away with it. I was going to say, if they were that, I've got questions. I tried to insta clear that with the Angelus. For a second, I thought, oh dear. Luckily, the ref has seen it and it is a free kick. Now, run out. Like I said, the Angelus' touch is not the best. Neither is Gomez's, to be honest. Both their first touches are pretty poor, which is all I'm trying to try and get the. Ball offloaded as soon as possible with him. Thorn, uh, I knew, I, like, he knew exactly what I was going to do, and I knew exactly what he was going to do, and it's just got into a situation where like neither of us did anything. And they have possession again. Good cover by Ferretti. I knew exactly what they wanted to do there, but I just didn't really know which defender was going to sort the problem out. Jensen Thorn now down the right. Into Shuhu. Knock it back. Oh... Oh, he's just quality, isn't he? Bruno Caballero back to Jay Mason. Oh, he's just on a different level, though, isn't he? He should be at a Premier League team. He should be playing in the Champions League. But, of course, he wants to stick to his hometown club for the journey. Jay Mason hits double figures in just 11 games. Great layoff by Caballero as well, holding it up for Jay Mason to just bang in and the red card has really sent Bristol City in this one they are absolutely not getting a result out of this now they may get a goal or two which is just the course the power course for um, the uh, these episodes because we can't keep a clean sheet to save our lives except for the Millwall game we've known that um, but realistically I don't think it's oh, um no, it's on. It's actually 10 in 10 for Mason because he had one game international duty. I've gone in the other direction, but don't let that get in the way of a good story. I had to commit DeAngelis across. I mean, I've not had to, but I have commit DeAngelis across. Not smart. It really isn't smart. Yeah, it really wasn't smart. But good save from Lishka. Wasn't the smartest idea to commit DeAngelis, but Fernandez was that position. They played it well. That play is deserving of a goal. Cemento gets his shot saved by Roman Lishka. I'm glad we've got two keepers we can interchange now in case one has a bad game because it means the other one could come straight in. Because before we only had Lishka and we had kind of average backup, but now we've got Carrasco. I think we're honestly set for that goalkeeper position. I think Carrasco eventually will overtake Roman Lishka. But Lishka is definitely our goalkeeper for the championship. Potentially, if you have another season in the championship, he'd be our goalkeeper for that as well. But Premier League, I'm not sure. Might fall behind in the picking order, but I don't really want to sell. Um, what's well, just happened there with the ball? 
Yeah, I'll just be blocked. I don't know if I'll sell Roman Lischka on if I can help it, but I do think Carrasco will become a better goalkeeper in the end. Juhu. Latanzio's been left in acres. Oh, look at that. Oh, my God. He's missed it. How? How has he put that? Right, there's a reason he doesn't start. I mean, yeah, obviously it's partly me as well because I'm the one that's taken the shot. But how has that not gone in? That's got to be a keeper save, really, hasn't it? It's not even a keeper save. It's just an awful... Oh, oh my God. It should be 3-0. It really should be 3-0. Somehow, it's still only 2-0 after that shot. I do have questions. In fact, I don't know how it's even 2-0. They've had a lot of opportunities. I would like to switch to... I'd like to switch to my fucking... Oh, my God. You saw how I was trying to switch to. I don't even need to. I don't even need to like detail it. But you know how I was trying to switch to there. He was just running past it. I pressed LB and the right stick numerous times. I just got nothing from the game there. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. The Angeles. Oh, it wasn't actually the Angeles. It was Gomez who came, uh, came across there to defend that. I mean, if they're both kicking on all cylinders, I don't see anyone that can really break us down too much. I've tried to pick the pass through to Caballero, deflected by, I believe, Tanner from uh, Bristol City. Well worth, I think, at this stage, going back to the chance from earlier. I absolutely can't believe he's missed that. I know he's not really playing a lot of games and not really having a lot of experience on the pitch as much as he was, but that still has to go in, doesn't it, whoever you are? I did want to move him on because I didn't think it was championship material. And Alvaro Gomez makes it three. It might be a Tanner on goal, I'm not sure. But Albert Gomez is celebrating it. Well, let's look at this again. And we're three to the good now. And I think it's a comfortable win here. Well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper. I think it is Gomez who gets in front of Tanner. Goal. Watch his back. It might be Gomez who heads it onto Tanner's head. No, it's a, it's all Albert Gomez there. Absolutely dominant in the air. That's what we need from him from corners. I think it's only his second goal of the season, potentially third actually, I'm not even sure. But Albert Gomez, he's come along this season as well. 3-0. That red card really has fucked Bristol City over. So and they're not going to get a result today. They may get a goal. So so uh, you know, just send the them home happy. But I'm not seeing... I'm not seeing any result here. They're not going to get any points from this one. Caballero, Mason and Gomez... Give us a three goal lead. None of the strikers scored yet. But um, at least the goals have come from elsewhere. And especially the main goal supply, Jay Mason. I mean, we could kind of just chill a bit now. These are the results from the other grounds. Uh, anyone who's interested in these teams. If your team's winning, good. If your team's not winning, I'm unfortunate for you. And if they're drawing, then hopefully whoever you're supporting gets their winner. Uh, take a look at the results, 53 to 47 in terms of possession, 5 shots to 3, and 2.5 expected goals to 0 0.1. Realistically, we are dominating, and it's uh, quite frankly, it's the right result at halftime. No, I'm done to rest some players, um, potentially. Not just yet, we'll give it a bit more time. We'll probably wait to the hour mark. I'm, I'm considering bringing Jay Mason so off, you know. Second half commences here. Just to keep him fit. We don't really need him. It is a 3-0 victory so far. I'm not going to say it's over yet. Oh, come on. Jim has got a little angry there, but I don't think the ref saw it. So I think we're good. <laughs> and he's not been playing bad in terms of passing. It's just that it's Sam Bell who's fucked it for him. And he'll be... Uh, I'll obviously have a dressing down in the changing rooms following this game. Really Great by DeAngelis, he read the move. Unfortunately, he can't pass it. He's getting pressed to fuck. He's done very well there to get out of the situation. Thorne has been fouled. But luckily, it's a save. Or is it a save or is it just a straight up miss by Davidovic? I can't tell. I don't know if, uh, Okay, right, never mind. I can easily tell from that replay. I thought Lish could have got a hand to it. At the same time, though... Um, Either Thorne has been fouled there or he's just not been strong enough on the ball, which honestly could be the case. Um, I think I'm going to give Meshkov a chance in this one because he's not really had the time. And in a 3-0 lead, 
there's, there's not really much pressure on him to have a like, good performance. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Just bounce well, my favourite for once, and I tackle and he gets blocked. You know what, you know what, FIFA, you're a wonderful game similar. Oh, my dear, sometimes I just don't understand these games, like, how it works, how it functions as a human being. Oh, fucking hell, man. They are going to get a goal by pure circumstance, because I can't get this clear. And it's not for want of trying. Gomez's pass there. I have absolutely no idea what he was thinking. Um, Davidovic is offside. So even if it had gone in, it wouldn't have been a goal. How offsides work. Come on, use your brains. Oh, don't fucking fuck me over. I mean, it's kind of fucked me over, but at the same time, it's a foul. Might be a yellow card for the player. Thorne. Into Caballero. Mason. Oh, come on. I mean, it's coming together. I can't really complain about that one. It's a 50 50. Yeah, just blocks. Obviously, moves hand because the game is stupid. Yellow card for 45. Casey Palmer. We're going to make some substitutions, actually, while we're here. I'm going to. You know what? We'll risk it. We're also going to bring on Meshkov. And the last substitution, if we do use it, will probably most likely be... I know Tanz has had an awful game, but it'll most likely be Fernandez for Bailey, if I am to make it. But I'm going to just leave it in case of an injury, because... Knowing me, there'll be an injury after. And with play stop, they will make the change now. Make a double sub, just to freshen it up a little bit. Mason's done his job today, as per usual. Of course, it's Jay Mason who has done the most so far. Actually, I'd argue Bruno Caballero has done the most so far. Like Let's go with the catch. I honestly expect that to go over his head into the net there, to be honest with you. I've seen, I've seen occasions where it probably would go in. Oh, oh fuck. Away. Like, you know, do you ever like think about, you know, just let me have a pass that works? I mean, it's an attempt. Valiant attempt as well. I just want to have a pass work. I know it's difficult. But because of 3 0 up now, the game thinks, oh, they need a bit of, you know, fucking about with. They need to be stopped a little bit. But we don't. We can we could just happily continue the way we're playing. I, I wouldn't be offended to that. Alexandre. Oh, it's not going to get to. Uh, oh, it is. It's fucking. <laughs> Didn't think it would get to Meshkov, that's why I booted it off the pitch, right? <laughs> Masseng go to Williams. Oh, it's four Williams, I should say. It's a substitution, not a pass. Like I said, Bristol City. Fucked themselves over since the red card. It's an easy throw in for us there. I'm not expecting a clean sheet because we never get one, but... I am expecting the three points. I don't think we'll bottle it that much. Oh, you've oh, you just every time one pass, I just want to come off. Williams. They've been very good this second half. I'm not going to lie. They probably will get their goal. But, I mean, even though they've got red card performances, they deserve a goal. That's going to be Lishkus. What's the fucking... Sorry. What's the fucking foul for? Okay, I, I've tripped him a little bit there, but that wasn't me who was controlling uh, Freddy at that point, so I'm not taking responsibility for it. My earphones are being weird. Try to fix them before this uh, free kick happens. Right, there we go. Palmer standing over it. I'm absolutely putting the person on the line. I refuse to believe that was even a free kick. Alexandre came in useful there. There's no shot that goes for corner. Good. I was going to say, if that goes for corner, Ferretti's getting subbed off. Don't care. If, <laughs> this is the one that's tired. Caballero. Into Latanzio. Oh, On the other side. Into Vidovic. It's four. It's absolutely brilliant. Brilliant counter-attacking play. Caballero bringing it out. It was actually Ferretti that brought it out. To Caballero. In to Latanzio, on to Shuhu. Vidovic had the space in the middle. Shuhu very unselfish. He's not been scoring a lot, but damn, he's been assisting quite a bit recently. Uh, Vidovic absolutely in the perfect position, and he just rockets that past the goalkeeper. Absolutely no mercy 
shown from Collingwood FC in this one. And I said it, I think, a couple episodes ago. If the other team's going to get a red card, we will make, or we will take full advantage of that. So they restart the game. Ignore the Crystal Palace game. Team in it. Sure who's got me from kickoff here. It could be five. 20 minutes to go in Went back against it with his pace. Ah, oh, Latanzio just beat into it. Maybe should have held off on the cross a little longer. To have a bit more space, but... I don't think it made a difference, quite frankly. That's going to be Gomez's. No worries. And it, it was nearly a worry because it, that was meant for Fernandez rather than DeAngelis. But, you know, we, we, don't, we don't look at facts in this game. Right. Meshkov into Shuhu again. Oh, he's got the fucking technical ability of... I don't know. His technical ability isn't great. I mean, his pace is good, but his technical ability kind of lets him down a little bit. I would love to pass it to you, Latanzio, but you ran offside, lad. So. The pack in the midfield a bit now, Fernandez. He creates something. Meshkov onto his left. Cross blocked, Fernandez. Onto his left. Cross is in. What happened for us there, though? Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Potential counter now. Well, it petered out. Or, um, it was, it could have been potential counter. Bristol City, but De Angelis cleans up quite calmly. Vidovic. Inside to Alexandre. Latanzio, can he keep himself... Oh, it's not Latanzio. Shuhu, can he keep himself onside? Alexandre wins it back. Well, Shuhu lost it, but Alexandre was there to receive. Gabriel, why is that gone there? Why is that gone there? Oh, my. It was... I mean, it was for Latanzio. I don't know if he would have got it, but... I'd just like it to, you know, go in the right direction anyway. As a, as a, a, a thing in the game that should be happening anyway. Oh, fuck off. Well, a piece of nice one, Lishka. Brave and smart. Well, that's great goalkeeping. He read it so well, didn't he? Alexandre. Tackling and winning the ball too slow sometimes in the ball. I'll go as you see outside the mitt. Really Cheers. Piece of last ditch defending. That's what sometimes they're very good at. DeAngelis and Gomez. Good at swapping sides and just getting the ball. Vidovic. Bit of space. Into Latanzio. Touch is let him down. Well, it was a close and that was a touch I made. I'm not going to blame EA decision. for that touch at all because it was the one I did. He's got space. Palmer on this left hand side could create something for Bristol. Oh, oh you've got to be joking me, man. Yeah, I just you just know you just know you're not going to get clean sheets in this game. They're going to celebrate it like they've won the game. It's a 4-1 loss for you lads. I'm not happy, obviously, we conceded, but I'm also not surprised. They deserve it. They deserve a goal like this game. I don't want my setbacks doing running out like that. I've tried to lunge at the player with the ball, and he just keeps running. So, I'm not, you know. I'm confused a little bit. Lishka could do a little bit better, but clay sheets are not something we have at this club. So, I don't know what to tell you, really. Davidovic gets one back to Bristol, and the performance deserves it a second half. Honestly, it would have been a lot more difficult had they had well, the full 11 men on the full 90 minutes. minutes Five minutes of added time. I'm not sure why they're necessary, but it's what we've got. Ball's I've gone. not done that touch with Alexandre, so you can already tell this game's trying to get Bristol a second. But the way they're passing about, they're probably going to get it. Position. It actually amazes me sometimes this game. Dangerous ball. I've... Uh, the, I've actually almost conceded second. I've got Alexandria across there, and somehow the ball is still nearly coming. Um, <laughs> right. It was a good cross to get it around Alexandria. I'd give Palmer that. Lushka makes a save. My defending game is quite awful, I will be real with you. But at the same time, the game doesn't make it too easy. Now sending it in. Well, Alexandria gets it away. It'll be Fernandez as well. It'll be Prings. It'll be Prings. Tackle by Shuhu, and that's game, set, and match. A 4-1 win to open proceedings on this episode. It's a big shout-out to Bell from Bristol City for getting that red card to give us that platform to just control the game. They got a goal back, and um, they deserved that goal that they got, but it won't mean anything in the general scheme of things. So I'm not really... I'm a little bit upset we can't give a clean sheet. But um, I'm a little bit annoyed. I said about a clean sheet, but I'm happy. We've got the win.
We've got three points to kick off the episode, which is exactly what we needed. And uh, exactly what we wanted. So, no complaints there to kick off. Well, obviously the one complaint about Cleachy, but no real problems to kick off. Season 4, Episode 5, I believe it is, or is it Episode 6 now? Oh dear. Anyway, they... Okay, right. Yeah, we'll ignore that. Uh, 57 to 43 in terms of possession. We're not looking at the shots, because I don't matter, I'm joking. 10 shots to 6, and uh, for them, surprisingly, but 3.5 expected goals to 1.7 expected goals. We were always a better team attacking-wise, but... I mean, they did get a goal back, to be fair. I'll give them that. Man of the match for us is going to be Bruno Caballero. A goal and two assists from the midfield for him. He is back. And uh, he's back with the bang, to be quite honest with you. I would be terrified if you are any other team in this league. Albert Gomez, absolutely brilliant defensive performance. And a 7.9. Oh, uh, oh, we're having the headset problems. It's been a while since this. Anyway, DeAndres, along with Gomez, having a very good defensive performance too. Jay Mason with a 7.6 and a goal. Roman Lishka, strong goalkeeping performance. I'll try and fix it after I've done the player reviews, guys. Uh, four shots on his goal, three saves, one conceded, unfortunately. Uh, but not a bad performance from him. Chu with an assist and a 7.2. Milan Vidovic coming on with a goal and a 6.9. And then Loyal Tansi with an assist and a 6.9. Got it. I, I, so this is a throwback, this. Audio issues with the headset. Oh, been a long time. I thought this might have been fixed because it's been so long, but obviously not. Davidovic with their goal gets their man of the match 7.7, .7, and Odalda with their assist 6.8. I'm going to try and fix this. I doubt it'll work. So if it doesn't fix, then I'll probably just be silent for the next little while. And if it does fix, um, then we should be sorted. And just before I do actually unplug my headset, it is an issue with the game, not an issue with any of my stuff. For some reason, it's not compatible for whatever reason. So I apologise about your ears. Oh, we're lagging too. Oh, question. you know what? We'll have a double whammy, please. Right, we'll do this. I, mean, I, don't, I don't really know what to do about this. Right, are we surprised by how comfortable the victory that was? Um, I mean, we did control it. Defending gave us a platform. We did really well in defence. It was just that one little goal that slipped through. You can tell it's a problem with the game because the game's lagging. The game's kind of an audio issues as well. Whereas my audio is okay. Routine win today, you satisfied? Want to be consistent. We want to get, we want to get a string of wins going. Slow start, you end up winning by, uh, praising by three goals today. But you get nervous in the first half, you're on top, but the goal wouldn't come, would it? Uh, it took a while for the first goal to come. It didn't really. We, won it, we got it inside like 15 minutes. Uh, but we all did really well. I mean, this is going to be a lottery. Either I unplug my headset, plug it back in, and it's going to be fine. Or I unplug my headset, plug it back in, and it's going to be worse. So this is the test to see what will happen. So the answer is about the same. And you can tell because my headset was unplugged that it's nothing to do with the headset. Because it was still doing it. Sometimes it'll take about 10-15 minutes to pass. Sometimes it won't pass. So we'll do another game and see how it goes. We've got the uh, scout report. Try to deal with it for now. If it's hurting your ears, I would just suggest turning the volume down. Yakovos Galanopoulos will not be joining. Aristotle, as cool as your first name is, mate, I, you're just not good enough. Kufos will not be joining. Stefanos Panagos, um, we'll give him a try, but if he if it comes out of kicking someone out, it'll probably be him. Satirius Niarchios, I don't know if that's a right pronunciation, but he'll be going in as well. And then Memnos Kalivas, the new squad's full. So we'll chat in a second. Uh, Ludwig Gustafsson is not coming in anyway. Magnus Ahmed not coming in anyway, don't worry. 
Adam Lindstrom will not be joining. Neither will Robin Bergstrom. Arvid Nielsen will not be coming in either. And neither will Gabrielle Anderson. I believe that's the last month of this particular report. So I've sent them to new countries. So Gerda Olavsson looks decent. And I think we're just going to cut the guy we just brought in. Um, Panagos. Sorry, lad. Someone better. Um, Sigurd of Age coming in with a namesake there. It's quite good. Aegir, I don't even pronounce that. A Hauksen, anyway, is not coming in. Uh, Freeman Shiving will not be coming in. Neither will John Thorarensen. His overall looks okay, but his potential is quite shit. And then Vil Hjalmar Jensen looks decent. So who are we cutting? I don't want to cut Everson because he. I mean, we could just bring him up and sell him on. I don't want to cut. I don't want to cut anyone, to be honest with you. Who's the worst? Uh, we don't need our goalkeeper, Stephenson. Sorry, lad. You haven't really improved either. Um, I said we're going to be cutthroat with the academy. I meant it. Two player chats. Adriana Marias, I need to let you know I've been reading some of that stuff that people have been saying lately about me and my future. I just want to ask you to give me a chance to prove I'm the right man for the job here. Obviously, you're, you, you are the right man for the job. I'll just give you a break. So that's the problem when you start, uh, you stop starting crucial players for a game. Um, you feel on the ground. You were awful, mate, quite frankly. You got an assist and that was it. You should have scored. Didn't score. So I'm not, not fully convinced by you there. Uh, before we continue, of course... Um, Send them out to other countries. I've clicked the wrong one. We're going to start promoting people in, uh, very soon if we don't have the space as well, rather than release them. And then just sell them on, quite frankly. Uh, so Mikhail Nakimov will be scouting in... Where will we scout with him? Mm, maybe not the right time for that. Czech Republic. And we will look for a physically strong. We absolutely need physically strong players. Anton Nieberg will go to do you know, to Denmark and any. And then uh, Sigurd of Age. Maybe we can send to Greenland. Estonia. We'll send it to Estonia. I think we've ever been able to send to Estonia before. So we'll do that. And he can find a... Um, defensive minded player. This is really good, by the way. Absolutely. I, 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 what I really love, I love recording these episodes and then the game deciding, oh, let me just have audio issues. It's been a long time since we had them, so it's not a full complaint, but why it's a thing at all defeats me, to be honest with you. International management offer and supplies on international duty. Jay Mason will not be available, and neither will Luis Loyalitanzio. We've got a New Zealand international management offer. I told you already, we're only accepting the call from one team. And when that team appears, I'll tell you who it is. Have we saved over? We're going to save over, if we haven't already. Right, so... I mean, what can I, what, like, besides end the recording, <laughs> which is something that's not going to happen, what can I do? This will just have to put up with it. Cardiff up next at the uh, Cardiff City Stadium. I thought it was a Millennium Stadium. Maybe that's the uh, other one. It's not as real as I had to pack in. I will do the usual thing. Of unplugging my headset. I will intermittently try and plug it back in to see if it works. But uh, we will see. Anyway, I'll see you soon.
And this is the scene here at the Cardiff City Stadium. My name is Derek Ray, and my commentary partner on this occasion is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you the cut and thrust of the championship. What might we see today, Stuart? Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow, Stuart. What do you think we'll see from him today? Yeah, he's a real handful, particularly when he's running with the ball. And, of course, his finishing has been so clinical. That's why he's their leading goal scorer. And so this, the team for Cardiff City. Well, they're playing with a 5-2-3, as we can see it here. But somebody has to step in to join those two midfield players. It could be one of the fullbacks or it could be one of the centre-halves. So keep an eye out for that. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. Well, the wide midfield players and the fullbacks need to have a good understanding here. If the midfield players tuck in, then the fullbacks need to get forward into the space they vacate just to give them some attacking width. And this confrontation is underway. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. Good tackle, take it away. Moore. Let's send it over to Alex. I understand something has changed at the Kirkley Stadium. It's a goal for West Brom. It's now 1-0 with only two minutes played. Cheers, Alex. Very quick thinking there. Well, danger here as he runs at them. But they dealt with the threat posed. Really well played pass. On the offensive. And a fine cross. Brown and slipped through beautifully and the decision is one of offside here There to take it away. Now he must play on the cross. Well, they had a decent reading of that ball in. And a bit of goal news to bring you from the Watford game. That news comes from Alex Scott. It's a goal for Watford. It's now 1-0 with 12 minutes played. Alex, thank you very much. Aiden Flint. Will Volks. Can they create something from here? But ultimately, up a cul de sac. Good technique displayed. Opportunity to take the lead. Oh, it looked as though he might beat the keeper, but he was beaten by the first. Goal kick.
is the message for Benjamin Walker. Benjamin Walker, can you please come to reception? Your wife is waiting for you. And that is going to be a free kick. Well, they've won the ball back quickly. Untidy in possession. Caballero. And the situation has changed in the Norwich game. Alex has the news for us. It's a goal for Millwall. They've scored the opener with 23 minutes played. Thanks as always, Alex. Really nice ball. Pretty routine there for the goalkeeper. Kiefer Moore able to get a body in the way. Couldn't quite hang on. And they can't quite take advantage in the end. Who? Must take the lead here. Oh, but he's missed it. How on earth is this still level? Well, I just don't know, Derek. Just a real lack of composure in the end. They should be ahead now. Now, someone is telling me in my headphones there's been a goal at the Stoke City Stadium, so without further ado, let's hear about it from Alex. It's a goal for Stoke City. It's now 1-0 with 29 minutes played. Alex keeping us right up to date. Well, a bit short with the clearance. Well, it looks so threatening, but the danger averted. Mason. It is a decent looking attack here. And it's still on for him. Well, showing good vision. Promising possession, this. Well, that leads to the goal that puts them ahead. And it was a great chance for 1 0. Well, that should have been the opener, shouldn't it? What a chance that was. Pressing high, and they have the ball again. Will it happen for them? An advantage with them. A glorious chance. Oh, a great chance it was. Goalkeeper has it. Oh. He's very adept at protecting the ball. Now that's a super ball over the top. And it all counts Ooh. for naught. It's not as bad. Right, just hearing something has happened in the Norwich game. Hurt. Alex Scott has all the details for us. Yeah, it's a second for Millwall, but it was a poor, poor clearance, which led to an easy close-range finish. They're pulled ahead by two with 38 minutes on the clock. Cheers, Alex. Perry Ng has it. Well, unable to bend his run offside. Mm. Well, perhaps he thought he might escape punishment. Not the case. It's a booking. Right, how are we, like, what's... Okay. What any gameplay? It's still not great, obviously.
I think it's starting to. I think it's starting to fix itself. I don't want to jinx it, but I think it's starting to. Okay, cool. I spoke. So, on the pause menu, it's actually okay. Once I go back into gameplay, it'll fucking go to shit again. I think. Also, whenever I move the cursor as well. Basically, if I do anything on the game besides sit on this screen where I don't move anything. Anyway, I don't know how we haven't scored yet, quite frankly. Um, but uh, we'll see how what happens when I go back into the game. All right, I'm plugged for the longer. Well, as you can see, the visitors have had most of the ball, but unless they find some inspiration from somewhere, I'm not sure where the winner will come from. They certainly need to up the tempo. Happy to take on the shot, and saved by the keeper. Playing it in. It's not a particularly good corner there. And making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. Good vision. Can he get onto this? Well, it looked like a decent avenue of attack, but he couldn't keep himself onside. Well, he's just a bit too eager there. All well and good playing on the shoulder, but he just needs to bend his run to stay onside. Caballero. Mason. Possession one. And the whistle is sounded for half time in this game. Not to be too blunt about it, Stuart, but this has been a struggle for him up front. Well, the touch map tells us everything. He just hasn't been able to get on the ball in dangerous positions. Yes, he's been well marked, but he has to do a lot more to find space, I think. Cuts off his fixing itself. Doesn't sound like it. This is great, honestly. I absolutely love you know, recording these episodes with these uh, headsets. See, these are results from around the grounds. I'll just read out the stats and I'll go back to it, not talking for the second half. 58 to 42 in terms of possession, 5 shots to 3, and 2.3 expected goals to 0 0.6 in our favour, all in our favour, so at least we're playing well even if the uh, audio isn't. So uh, we move to the second half. So they get the ball rolling in the second half, even Steven here, so little to choose between the sides. But attacking possibilities. And the flag does go up. Must have been close. Nelson. Flint now. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. And I'm hearing the situation has changed in the Norwich game. Alex Scott, what exactly has happened? Yeah, it's a third goal for Millwall. They're now three ahead with 50 minutes played. Well, the keeper reacted magnificently.
And there's the delivery. Over the byline, hence a goal kick. Well, just a quick reminder, more live football coming your way here on EA TV. I think you might enjoy this game. Well, that should be a really good game between two entertaining teams in a great stadium. Into the advanced position. An alert intervention. A really sumptuous ball. A goal! On the back of sustained pressure. Now they deservedly hold the advantage. Well, just look at how poor the defending is here. But I have to but say... But we're still not fixed. Still but I just want to say that's a brilliant ball from really Volchenkov. Seems like it's improved a little bit, but still, it's still crackling a little bit. Uh, there's nothing I can do about that. That's a wonderful finish from Volchenkov. Brilliant ball through by uh, Caballero as well. I kind of off balance left foot shot as well, so I'll take that. He's not been as bad as um, some in this team as Volchenkov, but he's not really lit the world on fire like he did last year either. I, I'm still thinking there's more to come from him though. A championship match that no, keep the headset in so it starts absolutely crackling that you can't hear me. Thanks, Balu. Balu, I don't talk. You see, I feel like I was defending a lot better when I didn't have to come to it. 1-0 up against Cardiff. Not a bad result. We can get this one. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. I didn't, pre I didn't press a button there. I think it was Brown. I didn't press a button with him. Um, I don't know how I've lost the ball. Tackle by DeAngelis. But I didn't press anything with Brown, so I don't know how it's lost possession. Unless I just caught the fucking pass button. Which I doubt I did. Things were anywhere near the pass button, so... Come, Rise, you got to get that, mate. Nice. Rise is to the challenge. Caballero now. And problem solved for now. I mean, right, Brown doesn't have the pace of Caballero, but I'd still say he's game. probably the better box to box, to be honest with you. Mason, oh, I thought I could slip him in and he'd take the shot and score because he's Jay Mason. But I was uh, proven wrong there on that occasion. Have to be proven wrong. Sang now for Cardiff going down his left hand side. Crackling still is happening, but it's nowhere near as bad as it was, which is. An improvement, I suppose. Oh, Gomez intercepts and gets away here. It was a, a weird touch there by Gomez, but at least he got the ball away. Brown tackled, but the ball is still with us. Caballero. Caballero. Mason, Mason into Shuhu, but Excellent not defending. into Shuhu because their defence have done very well with it. They are playing a five back. Saw that in the, uh, the lineup. I apologise, I didn't really announce the lineups because, you know, audio issues. But um, I think that could, really, that could be a title this episode oh. audio issues return or something. All the other issues are back. People will, know, people will know what it's on about. Volchenkov for a second. It's a good save. We've deserved the result if we do get the three points. But, um, yeah, it's still crackling a little bit. I can't do it for that. So it is the game. Now I'm doing my headset. If you've been watching his career mode since the start, you know the whole audio issues issue. Of course, if you're new, then this isn't a first time thing. This happened many a time. And has, in fact, ended episodes early before. So. And he's fired over the corner. DeAngelis, not going to win that because it wasn't even meant for him. But we, he didn't win it anyway. Rather, if it was meant for him or not, he didn't win it. So. Quite null and void, quite frankly. The tackle. Slows his counter attack down slightly. Just don't watch player try to hold off here to defend this. Nelson. Oh, I'm going to make some substitutions ball. next time I can as well. We're in 76 minutes, which really has not made not any. Just to freshen out for the last few minutes. In fact, actually. Am I, I going to get the ball here? No, of course I'm not. I'm going to make some now before I forget. I don't know if I'll even get on in time. Uh, Shuhu. 
Kind of what Yex have on the bench, you know. I completely forgot to put him on. He'll get a uh, run out next time, I think. Alexandre as well. Get a bit of time in a Meshkov with the final one. Well, not the greatest pass. Easily intercepted. Triple sub just to you know, freshen it up a little bit. Try and hold on to this victory. Alexandre coming on as a sub is quite dangerous. But Jim Mason. <laughs> put him in front of goal, please. Like, he will not miss. I mean, ignore the misses he's had this game. I don't want to jinx it, but I think the crack league has gone. It could yet return. But uh, it is gone for now. It's good. I'm surely that seals well, points. Again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Substitution time as is here. We're making our triple sub. We have 11 minutes to go. Cardiff in the mud. So now. Oh, fucking hell. Mason wins up. I assume he's going to keep it though. <laughs> Will Volks. I kind of assume it was a given. No, a chance to whip it in here. Alexandre heads it off to Caballero, we can get it clear. Full credit to Vlasic though, he's had a hell of a 75 minutes there. Whatever many minutes he played, 79, whatever. It was good from him, shoring up that defence. Caballero, oh it's a save, how was Ratcliffe saved that? I thought I'd love for the Caballero. Maybe he should have put a bit more power on it, but I thought it would just go in. De Angelis, Caballero. We've all class Cardiff to, today, to be quite honest with you. Oh, you. And running it back. Mason's getting you through there, Caballero. Alexandre. Oh. Ah, oh, damn it, I thought I had it. it. Tanzi will nearly get in there. Kiefer Moore. Volks. Jan just gets in the way, but you know what? You know what? I just tackled to not get the ball, actually, game. So I'm appreciating that from you. All right, this does well. Let's close that down. I want to say as well, the yeah, Akifa Moore, who I thought would be a bit more of a threat today. He's turned out to not be. We've done very well to keep him quiet. Mason. To Latanzio! What a ball! What a ball from Jay Mason! That's an absolutely astounding cross. Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break... That is ridiculous. Is what so a ball from Jay Mason. Latanzio started a bit so to do it near post as well, but it's a finish from him. But, oh, my God. Goal, really. Jay Mason with an incredible delivery. In a game where I thought it was just going to be a one-goal game, a one -goal game, a one -goal game I think we've taken it 3-0. Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break... That is ridiculous. What a ball from Jay Mason. Latanzio started a bit to do it near post as well, but it's a finish from him. But, oh, my God. Jay Mason with an incredible delivery. In a game where I thought it was just going to be a one-goal game, 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 Give him all the credit in the world. Well, and Cardiff don't look like they're getting a goal today, truth be told. To you're Cardiff fan, you're still here. Um, I don't know why you should be going to beat the traffic, really. Then again, the pass could go well, wrong. You could get an easy goal or we can defend it. That was from Marias, that pass and there. So but, the you know, we won anyway. And, and we've actually got a clean sheet. Well, Derek, what a good performance that was. They did most things right, and their attacking play was inventive and had a real cutting edge. That was a really dominant display from them today. 3 0 victory. I mean, it took us a while to wake up, but once we woke up, we uh, scored some goals. And that, I know Jay Mason scored, and that's just kind of the uh, norm from now on, but that assist was oh, sumptuous. I have to watch that cross again. Volchenkov, Jay Mason, and Lurley Tanzio. Getting the three for us. But I've got to watch that goal. Like, uh, the, the assist again. The goal from Latanzio as well. The finish was delightful too at the near post. But I've got to watch that cross again. That was wonderful. Look at this. All the space in the world. He absolutely just sends it. Oh, that's beautiful. That's what his team is capable of. Maybe automatic promotion is on the cards. Latanzio does very well to stay on the side. Gets away from his man. 
And the ball just, it's brilliant. I mean, he probably does have to save that, the goalkeeper. But that is ridiculous for Jay Mason. That is one a hell of a delivery. Looking at the stats then, we definitely deserved the result in our favour. 58-42 to 42 in terms of possession. 12 shots to 3. And 5 expected goals to 0 0.6. Cardiff City, honestly woeful. Didn't have a shot in the second half. We kept them quiet. Uh, and we started talking in the second half. Man, the match goes to Jay Mason uh, with a goal and an assist. And that assist was probably what got him man of the match. 8.3 for the homegrown talent. Vyacheslav Volchenkov having a very good game as well. Honestly outperforming Shuhu in front of goal. In terms of assists, I think the ch young Chinese striker has the advantage. But I think Volchenkov has the advantage in terms of goals. Anyway, goal and assist from the young Russian. 8.1. Bruno Caballero with a 7.7 .7 and an assist. And all the way down here. Didn't have a lot of time on the pitch. Hence why he's only on a 6.6. .6. But he got the third. And it was a good little finish from Luis Loyalitanzio. Some of his other players, Meshkov and Alexandre, didn't really need to do much. And so I didn't get a high rating. For Roman Lishka, I mean, he kept the clip. I'm trying to scroll up to him, but the game won't let me. Um... Goalkeeper stats, please. Two shots in his goal, two saves. Didn't have to do much, but whatever he did have to do, he'd done comfortably. So, I mean, he's going to probably get a third game in a row in goal. Carrasco's going to be upset. Carrasco's going to be crying in the club. Uh, best player for them was their goalkeeper. Um, just shows how bad they were. 6.9 for Ratcliffe. Eight shots on his goal, four saves, three conceded. I mean, the numbers don't really add up, to be honest. I think it was five saves rather than four saves, but we, we move, you know. Um, and uh, Wintle, the best outfield player, but nothing... Really special from Cardiff. I expect this man to be a little bit more of a problem. But Keith and Moore kept him quiet. And we uh, get a comfortable win here at the Cardiff City Stadium. It's been a good episode so far. A 4-1 win, which could have easily been a clean sheet over Bristol City. And a 3-0 win, which was a clean sheet, over Cardiff. Just got a couple of questions for you regarding the match. I mean, we were very, very good. All right, why do you think Cardiff City were never able to match you? Um, we dominated the game, quite frankly. If I'm, I'm being fully honest, we were dominant. The game you always felt in control of. Uh, we deserved our goals as well. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna praise the attacking play a little bit too. Did Ratcliffe make it difficult for you today? I mean, it was difficult, but uh, we kept believing in ourselves. I can't say he did brilliant because he wasn't brilliant. Thank you for your time. Really appreciate that. That's all the questions we have for you. Well, I'm happy with that. Very happy with that. Puts us into fifth. We're still a little bit to go in terms of getting automatic promotion. I don't think we're going to have it for the whole season, but it's been a great episode so far, despite the audio issues, which seem to have subsided, which is good. It's just patience, I think. Nice little two-week break now before we face Sheffield Wednesday, I believe it is. I believe they're down in doldrums a little bit, down that bottom half. Possibly in the relegation zone. So, positivity. I'm all, uh, I've run, if you're a pro, like a pro career mode player or just a pro player generally, be like, oh, your sharpness isn't too high, you should be doing training. I'm not putting myself through it. I hate trading. I'm not putting myself through it. That's just about the size of it, to be honest with you. All right, so Sheffield Wednesday, they are bottom half. They're not suffering as much as I thought they were, to be fair. Um, before we go into the next game, I just want to take a little look at Watford, see how they're doing at the top of uh, things. I don't know how far they are ahead. I have they dropped any points. They dropped, um, they've drawn once. I think Norwich have actually lost once as well. Norwich got battered by, oh my god, Norwich got battered by Millwall. Uh, Watford drew Blackburn. Um, who's in the relegation zone? It's Bristol City, Blackburn and Hull. 
Okay. We've got a hole last, didn't we? So, realistically, we should be winning that, and we should be winning this. We might be able to go four straight wins. But we'll see. I don't think we have Jay Mason. Unless that two-week break was because of the international duty. Oh, we do have him. Nice. 10th and 16th. It's now 19th. Quick maths dictates that we do have the man, the myth, the legend back in our squad. Uh, we're going to go for this formation. I know the other one's been working. But I'm going to go for this one. It probably will result in a loss, but I'm going for it anyway. And we're going to have Volchenkov set up top. And you know what? We're bringing them back into it. Bringing them back into the fold. Evgeny Yeksov having a bit of a gameplay. As well as I'm considering giving Bailey a chance. You need some game time somewhere. For him to actually grow. I think he's 70 now. 69. Lol. Uh, but no, on a serious note, we'll give him a bit of time. But we're going to have um, Fernandez on the bench. Ferretti's really fallen down, hasn't he? Fucking hell. feel a bit bad for him, really, but he's just not good enough. So that's how we're going to line up for this one. We're going to try formation change. Mason should still be the captain. He is. All right, so next game at Sheffield Wednesday at Hillsborough. Let's take a look at what we are going to be doing this game. Kits are obviously fine. Lish got in goal. Mariah's and Bailey as the fullbacks. Gomez and DeAndre as the centre backs. Vlasic and Alexandri as the CDMs. Jay Mason, Evgeny Yeksov, and Bruno Caballero as the three cam line. And then Volchenkov up top. He's been a better striker, in my opinion, this season. And I think he deserves a start over Shuhu. That being said, we do have Shuhu on the bench. Should we need a bit of magic that I think he can provide? As for them, they're playing the 4 3 3 holding, but all of their back four a little worse for wear. Despite the fact that we've had a two-week break, unless they're still in a cup, which could be a thing. We're at Hillsborough, though. 4 2 3 one narrow for us. 4 3 3 holding for them. Let's get into it. If I was a betting man, I would say we get four straight wins this episode. But that can happen. That could change on a dime. That could change in an instant. I wouldn't, like, I know I'm just saying I'm a betting man, but I wouldn't bet on it at some time, you know? Doesn't make any sense, I know, but just welcome. ignore that. Ignore we that part where it doesn't make sense. Today is the weather. Absolutely perfect playing conditions. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. And we're on the cusp of bringing you live action from one of the most exciting leagues in your championship. Stuart, tell us about your pre-match thoughts. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those back will Well, we know how troublesome he oh, can be lag. on the pitch, but what should we expect? If in, if in audio issues, it's lagging it. We got up on the other. It's kind of the whole protocol. He can find that penetrative pass. And he's such a good player when Jay Mason once again the main man to watch who else are you really going to watch he's come on in leaps and bounds this year scoring a goal a game uh, he's 11 appearances and scored 11 goals not to mention he's not just scoring he's setting up goals to the other teammates as well he is um, <laughs> he's a very good player he's the perfect player quite realistically he shouldn't be here but at the same time, I ain't letting him go, so someone can figure it out somewhere. Unless they're paying a billion for him, he's not going to know. Are they playing? Nah, bruv, that, that doesn't sit right with me. We've got a number three at left wing. Nah, mm. Sheffield Wednesday, mate. You need to be sorry about your kit numbers, quite frankly. I say that on minor roll. No, mine actually that aren't that bad. I feel like all these kit numbers actually fit the players. In my opinion. Jim Mason's definitely the number 10. He will never change. That will never change. Don't care if we get a world renowned number 10 in alongside him. He will he will be the number 10. He's one of the best players in the world. The game has said it. I have agreed with it. Patterson's going early here. He's not fucking around. He's actually done me completely. 
Dion just gets head away. Jesus Christ. Patterson just done really well there. Caballero has fought a bother. And Precious be telling there. DeAngelis gets it away enough. I lied, by the way. He just didn't get it anywhere. I do press clear, you know, to get some kind of distance on it. Oh, we're lagging again. All right, cool. No, don't worry. I'm the only one using the internet, so we, you know. Oh, I don't understand why I'm lagging when I'm the only one using it. Really Mariah's realistically, mate, should be passing that off. And by Mariah's, I mean me. Uh, I'm, I'm fully aware that I'm the one that's responsible for that. Let's get a brilliant save. He's been good this episode. But Wednesday, uh, come out as fucking strong. Been the best team so far. Not that they've had a lot of competition. To be honest, they're always starting strong. They might not stay the best team. I reckon Bristol State would have given us a lot more of a game had it not been for this ending off early. But Over Cardiff were not, um, you know, what I thought it would be. Cardiff didn't do a good showing themselves, really. Was that... Yeah, I didn't even jump for that, to be honest. I thought maybe... He's taken down Mason. Maybe a foul there. I'm surprised we're not having the whole, like, league try to injure Jay Mason, to be honest with you. I was our team, that's what I'd be doing. Obviously, subtly, without you know, getting sent off or anything like that. Gomez has done very well. You know, I'll press forward with him a little bit. Out to Mason. Mason. Olchenkov. On one more. Oh, good Caballero, it's heavy. Fuck. A little heavy there from Yexov. Could have been one. Isn't hence the nil nil. Moving the ball forward with purpose. We'll take off the X of. Can they forge ahead? Alexandre blocked. I mean, like I said uh, recently, the X of having a little Vladko Ilic run. Last season, uh, Ilic had a good streak of games where he was just playing really well. And Yexos kind of been replicating that. I've not given him the time these past two games because we were must wins, and even though he's been good, he was tired, so kind of just giving him a rest as well. But I'm um, giving him game time. He so richly deserves this game. I mean, I don't know how they're breaking me down. Oh, I do know how they're breaking me down so easily, but I feel like I'm closing them down with the players that I'm committing. I know I'm committing players, but I feel like I'm closing them down faster than. What is actually going on on the screen? Sal forcing an RC about Lishka. I uh, honestly, without trying to be too negative, I think it's just a matter of time before they score past us. It'd be very good. Trying to pick out a teammate. Gomez gets it done. Olchenkov's got something to chase, but it's gone the wrong way away from him, so I mean, he won't be chasing that. Another Gomez reads perfectly. Ready. Adriana Moraes could go on a little bit of a runner here. Into Yexov. Caballero calling for it. Making the move. Into the defender. <laughs> Turns back though. Alexandre. Oh, it's not meant to go all the way back to Vlasic. This looks promising. Should have been on one more to Volchenkov. Tried to turn him at the pass off, but it wasn't pace. great. Balance from Jay Mason, to be quite frank with you. Oh, fuck off. Remember Gomez, recovery after uh, committing what I didn't want. Of course, Mariah just loses it out perfectly. Um, bit sussy there. Vlasic could cover. Gets the uh, tackle in for an owl's corner. This has been a difficult one, you know. Berahino. It's not the uh, striker, is it? Speaking of striker. It's been coming, quite frankly. I can't have any really. They deserve the lead. 
Well, the hills, bro. It's a good and they have it. Nobody's closing him down. I'm not really entirely sure why nobody's closing it down, but it's a great strike anyway. And it's found the bottom left. A Denny ran. I just want to check something actually. I know he scored on fair play to him, but I just want to check. Is that Saito Berahino? Also, if that is Saito Berahino, it is. Why is he playing right back? You know what? I'm not, I'm not one to question. I'm not able to change the teams because I have a cheat engine, so I can't put him in his rightful position. I apologise for that. But at the same time, surely the game engine has some realisation that he shouldn't be playing there. Jim Mason's been fouled by the goal scorer. Adeniran, it's a yellow card immediately after the goal. No, you can't really complain about it. I mean, it's not really any complaints. Nothing of the ball. Straight through Jay Mason. Marias into the centre. Alexandre. Oh, it's fuck. I think that passed through then. Didn't quite work out, obviously. Hence why they now have the ball and are on the attack. Callum Patterson. Well, on you go, says the Where is Alexandria? I know I've had him on, on the, the left-hand side for a bit, but shouldn't he be in the mid-area? Well, They've really been playing us off the park. This looks interesting. Yeah, I'd like to have gone really Gomez about two seconds earlier, but that works anyway. He still defended it. Oh, just, just that makes no sense, though, does it? I mean, it just doesn't. Oh, fuck off, man. Do Lishka, brilliant That's save. Long counter. Mason, where's the maneuvers from you today, lad? A bit slow for Mark. Volchenkov. Yeksov. One all. I told you, he's in form. In form at Evergreen Yeksov. Get a team of the week out for him. Get a future stars card ready. Equalizer. Undeserved equalizer, but who cares, man? One all here at Hillsborough. He just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. I absolutely knew he was going to score that the moment he went through. And I think he's actually outscored Shuhu this season as well. I think he's the only one on fraud watch still, quite frankly. following the equalizer. I, mean, I think it was Carrasco who let in the five against Coventry. He could be a bit of a fraud watch guy too, but five goals in four matches for Evgeny Yeksov. The Angelus defends. Corner here. for the Owls. But yeah, no, I mean, Yeksov has been wonderful. He's really had that Vladko Ilic form. And I think he could be better. Than Illich, no offense to Vladko, of course, but I just think he will be better. <laughs> and now the delivery. Down just defends. Talk to Berahino, who's managed to put it on my player somewhere. Can they get in behind them? Opportunity. Right. Many, many issues we have with the school. You know, first of all, uh, right. So issue number one. How does he manage to chest over Yeksov then? Uh, right, where's issue number two? Issue number two. How have we left their player in that much space? And how has DeAndre not got across faster? Issue number three. How has Lishka not saved this? And issue number three is the... Excuse me. Issue number three is the main issue. I mean, they've deserved it. But it's still a pain in the arse, man. But you know your keeper should be able to get to it. doesn't. Sal makes it 2-1. I think it's Sal anyway. Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful and it makes the striker's job so easy. If they beat us, they deserve it, but... The right it's a lovely I mean, goal. DeAngelo has to be doing better there to get across quicker. So Leshka puts his arm down a little bit. 
there's a couple of sin uh, scenarios there that stops that goal from happening. I don't understand how DeAngelo's taking an edge to get across, to be honest with you. 2 1 Sheffield Wednesday. And a goal update to bring you from Very much Carol still on, Rowe. don't get me wrong. Alex Scott. It's a goal for Norwich City. It was a poor, poor clearance. And then it was far too easy for him after that. The score's level again now at 1 1. This could level it. Bruv. Oh, <laughs> he's, he's unreal. I mean, he hasn't quite finished well, off there, but he is unreal. A it's a cheat code at this level, honestly. Brown. Going well. There's no shot Brown is faster than Fernandez. I'm not allowing it. I'm not allowing it. If he, uh, let's just save that. But if you hit that straight to a Sheffield Wednesday player, he's subbed off at halftime. I don't know Mason again. Causing problems. Solution is play it to Volchenkov. Oh, what a save from Dawson. Well, his reflexes are so good there. That's a fantastic stop. That's a brilliant save to get down to that and read it, really. Could have gone anywhere. Fair play. Can we get an equaliser for half time? It's meant for Gomez. Who, can he pick who has just. <laughs> you know what, actually? Just don't put it to the player I've aimed it at then. You know, it's, it's too much for you. Too much work for you. Just don't bother. Fuck, you know. Jamie has not had a brilliant impact today. Game, but well, he's, uh, he's not really had much to work with. Sheffield Wednesday have been box, very good and there's a lead they've got. The at the near round and Sal for the uh, home side. Jay Mason for ourselves. It wasn't even Jay Mason. I'm just so used to Jay Mason scoring. It's actually Yeksov. If your team's winning, of course, the usual. Hopefully they will win. If your team's losing, hopefully they can bring it back. And if your team's drawing, hopefully someone finds the three points somewhere. Norwich and Watford are the main suspects. Norwich drawing. Uh, Watford aren't playing. But uh, Norwich are the main ones I'm watching because they're currently in that second place spot. That's what the board wants to get. They deserve it fully based on the stats and on the scoreline. And on the course of the game, to be honest with you. 54 to 46 in terms of possession. 10 shots to 4. 4.4 expected goals to 2.7. I think there's another few goals in this match. Yeah, this could be a high score and a fair. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again. As the I think we'll get at least ends. another one. But I, I think, I'm going to be honest with you. I think they'll take three points. But I'm not going to be negative about it. We're going to try and remain positive. The best we can. Alexandre comes across. Doesn't get the ball. Well, I mean, he gets the ball, but doesn't get the possession. You know, he's surprised. And Mariah's blocks cross. Get it gone. Vlasic to Caballero. Can't see a fucking thing. Oh! That's brilliant. Caballero. I don't know why. But right. Okay. Yeah. I'm not going to We're not going to go into too much detail on that one. Um, I kind of expected. I don't know who it was. I'm just going to go back into the replay a second. I think it's a foul to Sheffield Wednesday anyway. Uh. Who is it running? I, I'm assuming I could probably guess who it is. It's Jay Mason. It's who I wanted to go to. To thump it in. But for some reason it's got to Caballero Let's instead. It's not going to be a foul. The looks of One more to Mason! Oh, what a save again from Dawson. He's just going to be that keeper the second half. Anywhere, nothing will get past him. Well, more championship action for you to look Brilliant from Bailey. Alexandre. Yeksov. Well, the fixtures are coming Bald. thick and fast. It should be a good Mason game, gets the ball, though. Caballero. Alexandre. Into Mason! <laughs> oh! The man is there again. Number 12 of the season in his 12th appearance. I mean, he's an absolute fucking king of the club. Well, let's I don't actually... I mean, quite honestly, really I thought so Volchenkov... Far. Not Volchenkov, was it Volchenkov? Whoever it was... Uh, Yeksov, sorry. Might have been judged offside, but luckily it's locked onto Mason rather than Yeksov. And Captain Magnificent... Gives us an equaliser. Told you it's another goal in the game well, somewhere. 
Now we're back in the balance. Which way will it go, though? Honestly, if it was based on stats, it should be going Sheffield Wednesday's way. But uh, if it's based on luck, we're going our way of double tackle from Vlasic. Uh, foul. Ref, ref, foul. I'll, I'll take that back, thanks. Adeniran, well, maybe if we'd fall over, he could have been sent off, you know. Well, that's not intelligent play, is it? Really He's not a smart challenge. Luckily, I think Vlasic keeps his balance there and keeps adding around on the pitch, which I'm not really ha too happy about. Sal coming off, he's got the goal today. I don't know who they're bringing on. I don't know the Sheffield Wednesday team too well. Windass. Vlasic, Yeksov, Olchenkov. Back into Yeksov. I play it through somewhere. Olchenkov! Oh, it was a stretch. It wasn't really a pass we were looking for either. Vlasic, Alexandre, Tiexov, ball roll, oh, again, and again, <laughs> just trying to force the goal there, Levgeny Yexov, but not to be on that occasion. Alright, is it sets, but doing that matters, absolutely not. Gomez gets a tackle in. Thanks as always, Alex. Alright, so we're going to make a substitute. We're going to make one substitution, but it's not going to be fucking Mason. There's no shot Mason's coming off. We'll give Shuhu a chance up top. I know Volchenko's been good, but I want to see if Shuhu can um, get something. Deli Bashiru coming on. Or going off. Or Byers. As well as Volchenko right, making way now. for Shuhu. A bit of pace, tired legs, can't be a bad thing. Then having a striker at right back as well will help. I genuinely don't understand Cuts the team picking like players in the wrong position. Preston North End of equalising against Reading. Uh, Gregorich there with that goal. Gomez. Don't think the uh, woman Alex, I um, forgot her name, Alex Scott, announced it, but it is. I'm going to show up on my screen. Oh, that's perfect. That's inch perfect. Another finish. It's not there. But I actually don't know what's up with him. I actually don't know what's up with him. Well, it's a difficult skill to get right, but he almost pulled it off there. He made such good contact. I don't know what's going wrong with Shuhu at the moment. He, I know he starts off slow in the seasons, but usually at this point, he's banging him in. I want to keep him on till the end because I think he's got the talent, but at the same time, if he's not consistent, I might have to move him on and get someone who will be consistent. Right, Olchenkov may become the first striker because he is Norwich consistent. Blast has been tackled, but Gomez gets it back. Oh, it's a shit pass to Yeksov. Oh, just everything's getting the fucking accepted, mate. Even that, even we're intercepting. Alex, thank you very much. Oh, yeah, run straight to the centre-back, mate. I mean, granted, I probably should have passed it earlier with uh, Mason, but still. So you should run at the centre-back, lad. Down just marks very comfortably. Well, he marks, anyway. I mean, I didn't want Vlasic to take it. I didn't really want Vlasic to take it on, but he has done, and now it's cost us possession. Alexander reads it. Vlasic... Just some of the passes are not what they should be, quite frankly, and that's all I've got to say on that. Oh, fuck, man. These passes are fucking us over. Bring on Vidovic. I know Yeksov's had a good game, but he's tired. Pretty sure it's a corner. Corbinu coming off for Patterson. Oh, actually, it's the other way around. Patterson coming off for Corbinu. Sheffield Wednesday making all their substitutes. We've got one more to use. That's just in case of an injury, to be honest. I'm not really wanting to use it. Out. I don't want to be a fucking picky bunny. But if Bailey is the guy next to him, can I go guy? Can I go Bailey rather than the guy who is about fucking three or four yards off him? Like when I press LB, can it change me to that player I want to be? Oh fuck off! Oh fuck off, man! Oh, I'll do. I'll do. Not get tackled in the Marais there. We're actually holding on to the point here, and I don't know if we will succeed in that. Uh, we, won't. we will, this could good save. They've absolutely been deserving of the win, but like. 
I don't want to get it, you know, obviously, for obvious reasons. It's a good save from Roman Lishka. Gets down quite well. I know he's like to end today, but he's been very good as well because Sheffield Wednesday have been bombarding his net. I'm going to give Carrasco the last game anyway because Carrasco's not had an appearance this episode. But uh, Lishka's been brilliant. Playing it in. Really heads dangerous. away, Vidovic. For only Jim Mason, quite frankly. Wouldn't be offended if I had Jim Mason, but Milan Vidovic. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, not oh, fuck. Oh, great save. Milan Vidovic has run the whole pitch. The fact of the matter is, I do still have Jim Mason on. I thought I brought him off for Vidovic. It was actually Yeksov I brought off for Vidovic. We need Mason for the full 90 this one. We're going to try and steal a win. Blocked by Gomez. Not going to get the ball back though because, you know, it's us and that. Smile. Vlasic gets the boot in. Vidovic out left. Off to Vlasic. Wasn't intended, but, you know, it works. Caballero. Back to, uh, well, do you know what, Mason? Mason, mate, you can just take it on anyway, lad. You don't need to leave it for Vlasic. <laughs> just left it for Vlasic. I mean, it would have been easier if Jim Mason had just stepped in and took it on, but... At least we've had the opportunity to try and get a winner there. And it's still on. We've got three minutes plus whatever injury time. Albert Gomez, obviously, the target. Will it get to him is the question. The answer is probably not. No, it's, it's not aimed at all where I've aimed it. You can see where the yellow circle is and you can see where the ball's gone. So, quite frankly, I'm a bit offended. I don't know why DeAngelis is the one I'm controlling there so far forward. Alexandre picks up the scraps. It's a foul. It's a very reckless challenge. It's not going to be a booking or anything like that, but it's not a smart challenge to make. Caballero. Oh, man. He's been a match winner before, but couldn't quite get through there. Four minutes of added time here at Hillsborough. Will either team dig out a winner in this one? I've got to think if it is going to be a team, it's going to be Sheffield Wednesday. They've been absolutely deserving of it. That being said, I hope it's us. <laughs> Jay Mason can get clear there. I've messed up. I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to take that touch onto my right. I just want to swing it on my left, quite frankly, and it's just not done it. I mean, it hasn't done it because I didn't do it, but that's the point. Sheffield Wednesday going to get a chance here to take it. I just, right, they have won, yes, they have, they have, I've, I've, they've absolutely won. Why has DeAngelis done this then? Because that's really just opened it up. And Gomez was marking the other guy. I mean, I can't, I can't argue with it because it's the right result. A loss for us there is the right result. Sheffield Wednesday deserve the win. Corbino is going to be a hero. Well, just look at this again. The but I have no idea why Fernandez so has committed so and far forward. I don't know why DeAngelis has committed really over there. And I don't know why Gomez has committed where he's committed that. either. I mean, Gomez was kind of left in an awful situation once DeAngelis had buggered off. I'm a little bit hard done by, but at the same time, I know it's the right result, so I can't fully complain. I am The only complaint I have there is my defensive position, defender's positioning. But there's no argument with the result. Sheffield Wednesday steal it. At Hillsborough. It's not like it's a smash and grab. It's a fully deserved Sheffield Wednesday win. That's just the difference in this league, though. That's just the difference. One small mistake can lead to three points being dropped. We dropped three points there, and that's not good. Because, I mean, I'm granted we shouldn't have won that, but the point well, would have been nice. Be we could have been on defeat this episode, but really well today. we're on losing now to Corbino. Full credit to him, took advantage of our awful defending. That is a bit annoying, but what can you do? I don't really know how much longer I can justify playing Shu Hu either, he's been fucking awful. I think he's only got three goals this season. I'm going to check, actually. I mean, we kind of brought it back in the second half, but at the same time, it was always going to be Sheffield Wednesday. It's 52 to 48, 16 shots to 12, and 7.5 expected goals to 5.9. It could have been a lot more goals, to be honest. Goalkeepers have prevented that from being a fucking cricket score, quite frankly. 
Man of the match for us is Jay Mason with a goal and a 7.2, along with Yeksov, uh, who also got a goal and a 7.2, so fair play to both of those players. Rafael Alexandre with an assist from CDM, 6.9 rate for him. Volchenkov with an assist as well before he got subbed off, 6.8 for him. And um, Roman Lishkov scrolled past him, but I don't think he deserved a 6.7, to be honest. I think he deserved better than that. Nine shots on target, six saves, three goals conceded. They were bombarding his goal with plenty of shots. And I reckon he would have been man of the match for us had it not been for that late concession. Shuhu is very questionable at the moment. I think he'll get a lot of time there. But he's not really been deserving of the time. Silla Sal, the man of the match overall. Goal for him in a 7.3. Adenin Ran as well. Got the first goal of the day. 7.3 for him as well. Saido Berahino started at right back. Ended up being left mid. I'm not really sure what their plan was there. But he got two assists. So maybe it's a plan that's working. And the man of the match, from I would say, my standpoint. Uh, the winner of the match anyway. Theo Corvino coming off the bench to get it last minute. But Sinkar said Dawson with a 7.1. He was strong in the goal. Why does it just skip past goalkeeping? Seven shots on target, five saves to conceded. Oh, it's a, it's a gut wrench for that one. I don't think any more assists, is there? Unless there's someone who got an assist all the way down here. No. Well, that's a, that's a difficult one to take. We really brought it back to them in the second half, but they were always deserving of the win. And it's dropped points for us, unfortunately. Which isn't great, because we could have got back into a good spot with those. Just a couple we of questions for I think we are in fourth before that match. We might actually follow that playoffs with that loss. It's unlucky. There wasn't much in the game. It seemed like the first all square. Oh, don't remind me. Excuse me, sorry, I was yawning. It must be frustrating to concede to late in the game what happened. Um, wasn't that any lack of effort? You're telling me it wasn't. We fucking put all the effort in there. Give it our all. Important thing is to win. Our job. Taking form and league positions to account. Must be disappointed. I mean, they were very good. I don't know why they were very good, but they were. Um, they were just better than us, yeah. I can't. I'm not going to say. I'm not going to shy away from it. That being said, the point was very much on there, had DeAndre just not committed to the wing. Another really good performance with Caballero. He has really come back into things. He's doing really well. He's improved. He's very much improved. He's been very good recently. But at the same time, be no matter all, how good he you. plays, if we don't play well defensively, we don't get the, um, the results. And there's a lot of times there where Lishka had to bail out the back four because they're just poor positioning, which is kind of annoying, really, but just the way it happens sometimes. Academica want to take Shimchak on a uh, season-long lo or short-term deal, which is a lot I'm down for, to be honest with you. Did I not already loan him out? Hartlepool. Oh, the day, I think they might have declined. From memory, actually. That was in August. I think they might have declined uh, the loan offer, which is why he's still here. The problem is, them being still here, some of the players still being here, that just hurts their prospects, quite frankly. Because I'm not really going to be able to play them. FA Cup, I don't trust them. Alright. It's been a mixed bag so far. Two strong wins against Bristol City and Cardiff, followed by an absolute struggle of a match, where we absolutely... Could have had a point and we absolutely didn't have a point. It was just unfortunate the way things balance out. Jay Mason scoring again, of course. I think Sheffield Wednesday probably top half now thanks to that win, but we've fallen down to eighth. They're 13th. They haven't drawn a game yet, but I mean, we've only drawn one. Top of the league, Norwich now. Watford in second. Obviously, they've still got Middlesbrough to play in that game in hand. Whereas we have got bottom of the league, Hull. This absolutely has to be a win. It has to be a demolition job, I think. We'll rotate back to this because Vlasic is tired. And sure who's really got proving ground here. Isaac Brown coming in. If I actually know, we're starting Meshkov. But he doesn't get enough time. Mariah's in and Ferretti bench. Some players down here like Zolorovic, Mishima. Um... That's about it, really. Bailey as well, obviously. 
I'd love to give more game time to. I mean, Bailey's just had a game, but maybe loan deals on the cards for them. Bailey will stick around. But, I mean, loan deals for some other players. I will slot Carrasco in between the sticks. Not because Lishka had a bad performance. It's just we haven't seen Carrasco this episode. He's actually, you know what, Lishka's actually coming in leaps and bounds. I can't even front. He's been very, very good in terms of his development. Um, Carrasco, still a long way to go, but he is only 17. I believe Lishka's 20. So, still a lot to come from uh, Marcelo Carrasco. Right. So, I think that's the team we're going for this match. I'm expecting nothing less than a demolition job. Well, obviously, I'm expecting a win, but demolition job would, you know, kind of be better. Did I save over after that last game? I did. All right, cool. We got it. Okay, so the final game of today's episode then, Hull City will be taking on. They're in the relegation zone. So, like I said, nothing less than a win here. Lads, come on. Carrasco in goal. Moraes and Fernandez as the full backs. Gomez and DeAngelis as the centre backs. Alexandre, CDM. Caballero and Meshkov as centre mids. Jay Mason, captain. Cam, king of club. And to add to the, uh, the little title I've got from the EFL Championship top scorer. Volchenkov and Shuhu up top. And that Chinese striker really better. Get his shooting boots on soon, or it's going to be Volchenkov only. And potentially even Yeksov alongside him. I was considering doing that, and in fact, actually, what are we going to do? I was going to make sure the young boy's on the bench. Any mess ups for me, those strikers? Yeksov is making his way onto the pitch, and he's going to command it. 4 one 2 one 2 narrow for us here at the Ridewood Terrace. They're playing the 4 2 3 one wide. They're bottom of the league. Should be a win, but we know FIFA 22. I think if we win this as well, we jump back into playoffs to end the episode. Sheffield Wednesday, man. I mean, they deserve the win, but that's going to set us back a little. Mason, oh score here before we start. Alright. Decent. Oh, good save, Baxter. Right, one more goal. Oh, what a finish. I think it went in. We'll, we'll VAR it, but I think it went in. We won't VAR it at all. It did go in. Right, Rydwood Terrace. And a warm welcome on hosting Hull City today. You've got to say. I'm the new Ray, and improved Rydwood Terrace. It's only going to expand as well if we get into the Premier League. To bringing you the cut and thrust of the championship. How do you see the match going, Stuart? Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches. We went to the Premier League in four seasons. I've got questions, players. but at the same time, I'll be happy to. So, and who will have the figure out, really. It should be a cracking game, though. Well, I must say, Stuart, every we've scored. They've scored. Well, I think we're on the thirteenth game of the season, the and they've scored eight goals. The of any front line. What's yeah, more annoying is I know they're going to score past us, and it'll just be embarrassing. Brilliant forward line. They'll have to defend really well because this could be a tough match for them. I think. Hull are going to be under the cosh here, quite frankly. Like I said, if we don't get three points here, then we don't get promotion. That's just just pretty much it. It's not like it's an important game at all. It's just if we can't beat Hull, we can't beat the best either. We've already lost to Norwich and Watford, who are the main two. And the lineup for the home side. Well, if the players at the side are looking at right, we've gone strong. Give Meshkov a run out because he deserves it. Well, he doesn't deserve it, but he's not at the time. I would much rather have Brown starting over Meshkov, but don't get me wrong. But like Meshkov needs the time to develop as a player. It's difficult because him, Thorne, and Brown all need player to our playing time, and I'd like to start in both. But honestly, Caballero's got back to his best, so I can't, you know, justify dropping Bruno Caballero at the moment. It's a difficult one. Kick off from Hull City. It's not really much of a kick clash, but if you have if you are colour blind then it might be. Nice call of early tackle. Like I said, should be battering here. Even Shuhu should put one in the back of it. He said they are on the attack. 
And we've left a massive chance of space over. Can I get the answers, please? Okay, I guess not then. They've actually almost scored because I wasn't allowed to switch to the Angels and get back in position. Mm. Okay, yeah, cool. You're going to make it difficult for me, game. I appreciate that, I guess. Hello, I bought my lead for a reason. Already playing better than fucking Cardiff. I'm not a difficult man. I'm not a difficult man at all. I just want to switch to the player that I would like to control. I am moving the right stick to get to the correct player. And yet, somehow, it's still going to the wrong player. We're fucking 1-0 down to Hull inside five minutes because I'm not allowed to go the defender I want to go. Now, I don't, I'm not a magician, right? Let's just take a look at the controls here. Can I, no, I mean, like, actual controls. So, for for defence, if you... Right, so, it's LB to change player, which I am pressing. But isn't it right stick to change player as well? Or am I mistaken? Oh, well, you can see all my too much sense here as well, but um, enable switching icons to be displayed. Right stick switching, play relative. When defending the player, you control will act as the center point of reference when you right stick switching. This is default setting. That's fine. Yeah, I want to switch my right stick to my other players, and the game is like, nah, fam, it's not for me. And we're now one 0 down to the worst team in the league, and I knew, I just knew this would be the difficult game because, of course, it is. Bottom of the league we suddenly turned to prime Barcelona against us. They hit the post and then they brought it back in and scored. I like I have Gomez there, yes. But I knew the pass was going across, I believe it's Moncur who scored. I, I knew the pass was going across to him. And because De Angelis is in fucking no man for whatever reason, I wanted to bring Marias across to try and close that avenue down. Wouldn't let me switch to Marias. So I've had to try and do it with Gomez and it obviously hasn't worked out. I'm not really sure what to do in that scenario because I've tried to defend and the game has decided, well, De Angelis is just going to bugger off for a bit. You've got to try and figure out what you want Gomez, or what you want more. We really are going to fucking bottle this, aren't we? Oh my god, we are. Oh my, there's no way to follow this good. Fuck off. Don't try and slide up on me, man. Oh, the you f was very much I, don't, I don't have the patience. I don't have the patience to lose the halter quite frankly. I don't have the patience to. The, I don't. Please, someone explain. Someone, please. <laughs> in the comments or in the chat. What the fuck is happening? Should have kept Lishgrin in there, obviously. <laughs> it's the first mistake I've made here. But, um. <laughs> why is the defence so shit? I don't get it. How is Gobis not closing that down? Obviously Carrasco was the mistake here. Fucking hell, right. Maybe this formation doesn't work, I don't know. I switched back to the one defensive midfielder, that was the one that worked earlier this episode. Moncur scored half the goals for Hull this season now, they scored 10. And Moncur scored 5 of them. See a bit trickier for me, a bit of magic, really moment of magic from Jay Mason. They've read me, they've read me like a book. But to be fair, I've not really got any options that are unmarked, so... We're lagging all over the joint as well, which is really fun. Volchenkov, please get one back. Oh, fuck off. Baxter's going to be the best keeper in the world, isn't he? Well, he's so good in those 1v1 moments, and he's proved it yet again. Fucking hell, this is stress already. It shouldn't be as well because it's Hull. Trying to deliver attack Why are we aiming there? for Volchenkov then? Where is Gomez? Oh, we are. Mason. Mason. Good technique display. Why have I done that? Why have I taken oh, that on? I should have passed it off 100% to anyone. I just, I just don't, I don't, <laughs> I'm not sure how this game operates anymore. Bradley. Worst team in the league play the best against me. Well, uh, I'm not there in my opinion. Oh, that fuck off, man. Jan just reads it. I've pressed the pass away and it hasn't done it. 
Will it happen for them? Smith. Can he make it count? Well, what I'm, a stop that was. I just want to, like, uh, we've defended it and everything. Well, I mean, Carrasco saved it. We've not gone 3-0 down. De Angelis is just frozen here. Let's get to the part. It's just a, a little bit ahead. I'm, this is, <laughs> for that whole time he's frozen, by the way. That's me trying to switch to him to close this run down. But because I couldn't close it down, he's got a free chance. Granted, Carrasco saved. I think that's actually been taken off the pitch by Fernandez, but we're not going to fucking read into it too much. Um, it's going to be our ball when we get back into this off a of replay, but I'm, I'm very confused. I don't know why I can't be down. I'm not playing this game anymore. I'm not playing the second half. I'll so I'll jump to result, honestly. I think it's point. Love is going my way. Passes aren't going the right place. Good bit of pressing. It's there for him. Why are they so good? They're a whole city. They're bottom of the league. They're fucking destroying us. No, I can't. I can't with this game. I knew after that fucking hit the post the first time around that it was just going to go fucking wrong. Like, the first hit the post before the first goal is what I really mean. But it's just... Ah, oh, fuck off, man. I knew it was going to go to shit. They're not good. They're on They're on single-digit points, I believe. They had single-digit goals before this. But yet they could just play us off the park. I mean, they, is there something that... Yeah, bounce to them, yeah, please. I'll tackle you, but please bounce to them. Fucking oh, hell, I can't, I can't do anything. I actually can't do anything. He's well, passed it towards Carrasco. Who should have just held on to that? But somehow it's gone for a corner. We can't do a fucking thing. Who knew Hull were the best in the league? How are these fucks in the... How are they, how are they at the bottom of the league? If they're playing like this... Over it comes. Oh, wonderful save! Will he react so quickly there? That's a great the plane, play. like prime Barcelona, but the bottom of the championship, and they had eight goals before this match. A fifth of their goals this season have come in this match, and now on ten, Moncur scored half the fucking team's goals. I don't understand. Why can we not do anything? Oh, Mason, can't attack now, mate. Come on. Spot on with that one. Even the magic man, Mason, can't fucking do shit. There's no shot. Oh, no shot you get caught, uh, caught with. Who? Shoo who? I mean, Caballero's just been outpaced by Manuel because, of course, that happens. I thought Caballero has more pace. He's won the ball out, though, for sure. Can't play him because of the fucking options. The one option that I could have had ran offside. Fucking hell, man. Mariah's is not catching up to Williams. We're going to keep going with him and attempt it, but apparently Williams is the fastest cunt in the world. Just out doing a cross. Most of the AI. Oh, it's straight Carrasco, thank God. I'm, I genuinely am in amazement at what I'm playing against. There's no shot this is the hole that have been fucking shit all season. We've just decided to turn today. Mason through to Shuhu. Come on, gets one back, mate. Thank God, he's finally bagged. He's finally bagged. Uh, I can't believe we've actually had to try and close the deficit against Hull rather than, you know, a comfortable win. But you get what you're giving, I suppose. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance. Oh, the it's a brilliant ball for from Mason so just to lay off the shoe here. And of course, with a 95 pace head. that the young Chinese striker possesses, he gets through goal. there. The only doubt I had, and this isn't a doubt I would have had last season, but the only doubt I had was the finish. He's finished it off. I think he got 35 goals or something last season, 37 or something, a ridiculous amount. Um, this season, he's, I think that's his. I don't know, it might send it up left. I think that's his fourth. What's going to happen next? Well, As he even said, they don't want to embarrass him. To I don't blame now. it, to be honest. Alright, this is the hole I'm more wanting. The match. one where we just get him the ball. The and we can just, you know... Oh, fuck off. Well, the There's no you know shot you've reached that tackle. I mean, like... Still, why am I pressing with a CDM? Oh, my God. They're not fucking Barcelona, man. They're whole fucking city. 
Really good high press. Oh, he's offside. He's, he's offside. I fucking, I'll tell you now. If he's been played onside by Meshkov, who's talking about her being offside. He is offside. Is he not? Ball gets played there. Am I missing something here? Oh, is Mariah's played him onside? I can't tell if Mariah's has played him onside. I'm going to have to choose a camera angle. I don't know if this is the correct camera angle for this, actually. I'll try and find the correct camera angle. No, he's offside. That's 100%. Hull City have just scored an offside goal. Monker has got his hat trick. I'm absolutely in um, disbelief. I'm in absolute fucking shock. It's an offside goal. It's not by much. But it's not onside either. He's just he's uh, mar he's marginal, but he is offside. But it's not going to be pulled back because uh, the game's cunt. Monker has got a hat trick, and Hull, who are a team that struggled all season, are all over us. They've been the better team. I hate to, I hate to admit, but that third one was offside. Caballero. I thought I, maybe my vision's sorry, kind of fucked up on out. that. You guys can look at the replay and decide amongst yourselves. But I think that's offside just marginally. And that's the unbiased opinion. And the electronic board has been held aloft. Three additional minutes here. Fuck off, and man. Scott. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. The referee knew that was foul play, but advantage it is. So that's I've not. Um, I can't even explain and to you what's gone on in this game because there's literally no the explanation that you can give. Well, you can score all the goals you want, but if you don't defend well as a team, you're gonna struggle. What I do understand today, is that we are in fact three-one down to the, the worst team in the league at half time, and it quite frankly is painful. Now I have absolutely no idea what I'm meant to do second half. Moncur apparently has just found his fucking prime. Fucking on reform, Prime Aguero, and we're just—I uh, don't get it. They've deserved it. They've been the better team. They've fucked us all over the place. Six, six, they've been ridiculous. All these cunts bought them. The game actually bewilders me sometimes. 50-50 in terms of possession. They had 10 shots to R2 and 6 expected goals to 0 0.9. I'm not playing against Hull. I'm playing against Barcelona with Hull players' names. <laughs> Prove me wrong. Tell me otherwise. Green coming off for Moncar. Yeah, Moncar has done the job. He's got his fucking hat trick. He's off. I'm going to relax. He's going home. Mariah's got nobody to pass to. It's not the direction of running anyway. I've tried to change direction. And now I've got nobody back. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. And Man slipped on his arse to get it across in. Well, I, I mean, for the keeper first initial problem is Lishka should have probably stayed in the net. But I don't... I, <laughs> everyone else, I don't know what's going on. They've just got the toughest tackles in the league apparently. Mason, Mason, Volchenko asking for it over the top. He kind of got it. Meshkov, Yeetus. Worth a shot, mate. Worth a shot. We need anything to get back into this one. A chance for them to corner. In the form of a corner. Well, these fans can sense an opportunity here. I get a fucking headache, honestly. I have to lie down after this. I mean, I've had a headache. It's about a second game, but this is just making it worse because I don't get by with three one down. I'm yelling, and it's just. Annoying me. Headache's just getting worse because of it. 
Oh, because I haven't eaten today yet either, and it's like Can he past two. It it's an awful quarter, but luckily we get there by the cherry. Alright, we go again. Gomez has to be the man to get this. Where the fuck comes. are you going? Why do you drift away from where you should be, mate? More live football to come. A little note about our future Caballero, game with us here on EA I mean, it's not TV. really... That should be a really good game between two hold entertaining up. teams in a great stadium. Alexandre has been fouled. Well, that's a foul, and it sets up Dog a free kick in a dangerous position. Plenty of warning, but it's a free kick in a good spot. A couple of capable free kick takers. We've got Jay Mason who has the... Uh, Accuracy, but not the power. We've got Caviero who has a mix of both. But we are going to give it to the captain here. To test his chances from about uh, 23 yards, I think. 24 yards-ish. Oh, he's gone in! Jay Mason! I really didn't think I put enough power on it and I didn't time it when I was trying to but it's just about got in and it's him again it's that man again Jay Mason I can't believe this man he I've been, we've stumbled upon a gem it's our pre what is it pre-order Scout Future Star. It's, do you remember how you have the Scout Future Star in the older well, the FIFAs? That is what Jim Mason is. And I mean, we've got we've uncovered a fucking gem. I was trying to tackle, but I've actually they've actually not been in possession of it, so it's turned out to be clear. Be. Fucking hell! I mean, I didn't expect that to go in, and honestly, the keeper should have done better from it. But I'm not going to complain. Goals are goals, you know. Jim Mason wins it back. And I, I knew what, what to do there, but they fucking brought they brought the defenders forward. As uh, Shuhu is making a run for it, it's, it's bad by me. I probably maybe should have released it a touch earlier, but at the same time, but it's it's just unfortunate timing there. I knew, I, on some level, I knew we'd struggle against Hull, but I just didn't think we struggle this much against Hull. Monker gets a fucking hat trick in the first half. Now this person to tackle. Marcel has that. Mesh covers not really let the world on fire this game, and that's not for really Mason, well. that was for uh, Caballero, so. It's opening up for them. Might open up for fourth here for Hull. They'll half like the amount of goals they scored the whole season before this game if they score again. Scored, I, oh my god, a third of their goals of this season will be scored in this game if they score again. I should say win the score again, to be honest. They've been fucking rampant. I don't think I have Vlasic on the bench. Alexander's just going to have to tough the full 90 out. Do I have Vlasic on the bench, actually? Probably is a good time to stop making substitutions. I don't. Vido can come on, they can't. Um, EX off and come for Volcher and Kov. We need a bit of magic. Look, Volchenko's been bad, it's just Yexo's been, be uh, been better, frankly. I've no idea how Harry Maguire's got the England squad, by the way. He's been fucking wank. Right. I can't believe I'm saying this in a game where I thought we were going to demolish. But we've got 25 minutes to find an equaliser. Ignacio Fernandez. Trademark run. Who? Mason. Yeksov didn't quite, quite reach to him. Well, there you can see it. The visitors haven't been able to control possession, but they've certainly yeah, shown an ability to counterattack when they win it. Alexandre, Caballero wasn't meant for you. Actually, it was meant for Mason, but you know we're moving that. Oh, cunt off! I knew exactly what was happened there. You better get up. You better get the fuck up, mate. Caballero, you better get on your feet. Now can they counter clinically? 
Bruno Caballero, you better stand up and see this out. If you're injured after, we can address that after. You better be able to see this out, mate. Very important we don't lose points here. I mean, we probably will lose two of the points, but it's very important we get a point if we can. I don't believe what I'm saying right now. And a goal to update you on in the Middlesbrough game. Here's Alex Scott. I mean, shot to be fair. I should bring Capiero off, and I'm gonna. I don't wanna. I want that clear. It's better not be a long layoff. Bruno Isaac Brown. Better not be a long layoff for Bruno Caballero. I swear to God, I'm gonna be very upset. He always seems to be the one that gets injured the most. And he, honestly, he probably could be 78, 79 rated by now if it wasn't for his injuries. I'd maybe exaggerate a bit. He'd probably be 77. But he'd, he'd be a lot better player. It's the point I'm trying to make. Be the most injured player at this club. Mariah doesn't quite get a header. Heads away by Yeksov. And it's not, I, I don't know Mariah doesn't got there. Well, possibilities in the centre. That's someone to play it to. It might be. Gomez, great block. I don't understand it. I'm still confused. Oh, fuck's sake. Trying to pick out a teammate. Still not clear. Can't really take another loss. Well, it came to be in the end. Promotion hopefuls. Jay Mason's just forward, off now. All hands on deck. This could square the game. I back him to score, honestly, and he hasn't done. I'm not really sure how he hasn't done, to be honest. It should be 3 all. Oh, I'm really not over for, I'm really over for not another fucking painstaking loss, man. We already lost to Sheffield Wednesday, we didn't need to. I think Grant with a better team, but Hollow also with a better team. We're potentially going to lose to them. Some nice controlled, easy wins to start off this episode, and it's just gone to shit ever since. Oh, yes! You're Yeksov. You just run into that defender, mate. Yeah, I'll be trying to pass that through to you as you're running into a defender. Bradley. Calling for the ball as he's running into a fucking man. Yeah, that's a great idea, honestly. Where's the Royal Sound for that fucking attacking strategy? Alright, well, as well. I'm, I'm actually fucking fuming because I knew it was going to happen. Oh. Come on, fucking cunts, man. Alex Scott, what has happened? <laughs> oh, what? Ref? No? Okay, no, it doesn't matter. Ah, uh, okay, tackled. Don't want the ball anyway, you know. It's overrated to have your possession when you make a tackle. What are we doing that? Yeah, just blocks. Gets it to Marais, I think. Yep, that's fucking shit. Yeah, just tackles. Guess who's got the ball? You're right if you said Hull. Saved by Carrasco to keep it 3-2. I actually can't believe what I've been a part of. We're going to have two 3-2 losses to teams that we should have comfortably beat. Unless there's some miracle equaliser on the cards here. Which I wouldn't bet on, you know. They've been very good. It's fucking mind-boggling sometimes, this game. It just... It... Substitution time it is. Mm. We're just trying to waste time, I think, now. Williams coming off for Snellgrove. We've got three and a half minutes of added time to get a point. Can't believe I'm saying that in a game that we should be rightfully winning. The X of intercepts. We've got to go here, mate. There's no, no pace on this cunt at all. Brown. Shuhu. On the attack in the closing phase. I'm pressured to fuck here. I need some options. I'm getting nothing. Yo, yeah. Do it, do it, guys. Just give me nothing. Give me no options whatsoever. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate that. Let's take a look at what I've got on here.
Mason offside. Yeksov in the middle of nowhere. Fucking Meshkov marked. Brown in the middle of nowhere. There is fucking nothing I can get to there, and we've lost the match because of it. Fuck and off, man. What whistle, stupid football simulator. Well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal. And why the hell on earth? In control of the game. Why the hell on earth have I got the options there in that last bit of play? For the next time. So just... <laughs> not really sure what I meant to do in that last bit of play there. Or in a game where it just... Fuck, fuck off. Just fuck in? off. I'm not watching a no-go, because it was a no-go, it was a fucking... Alright. Uh, okay, well, I don't think we'll have an uh, option to see that end bit of play again. I don't really want to. Where is the support there, though, for Shu Hu in that last bit of play? There's no doubt in my mind we didn't deserve a fucking draw there. But it would have been nice to try, you know. Nice to have a player there that wanted to try and get the equaliser. But no, we just had fucking people who decided to not, you know, want to be in space. 53 to 47 in terms of possession in our favour. 15 shots to 6 in favour of Hull, along with 7.6 expected goals to 2.1. Absolutely, I have no idea. I, I just I have no idea. This game's going to give me an aneurysm one day. I swear to God. I just genuinely swear to God. Uh, Marcelo Carrasco, man of the match as well. 9 shots on his goal, 6 saves, 3 conceded. Jay Mason with a goal and an assist as a 7.8. The usual performance from him. Shuhu bag in as well, not too shabby. Um, at the end of the day, though, you absolutely got to question why the fuck there was nobody there for fucking Shuhu to play it off to. Because if he has someone to play it off to there, then we, we, we equalise, I think, quite frankly. We do equalise. Man of the match, of course, was Monker. Had it all wrapped up before half time. Hat trick and an 8.8 .8 for him. Assists come from Doherty with a 7.7 .7 and Scott uh, got two assists, 7.6. Their goalkeeper was not brilliant, to be honest. We, I'm, I'm aggrieved, honestly. I'm aggrieved with that one. Five shots um, on target, three saves to conceded. And it's not because they didn't deserve it is the reason I'm aggrieved. I'm aggrieved because they're bottom of the league and then suddenly turn up like the Barcelona. And I'm aggrieved because Shuhu had absolutely nothing on there. To try and get an equaliser for us. That would have saved the game. That would have got a point. But our team were just like, oh, no thanks. Not just for got me. a couple of questions for you. I'm fucked off to be quite real with you. I can't... <laughs> you know what's game? I might actually just I might actually just desert this career mode again. I can't be fucked. Like we have plenty of cover in the centre mid spot. But I just can't be it's always fucking caballero, man. Disappointed. Disappointed is the fucking wrong word. Furious would probably be correct. Our defending, well, I'm going. I'm going angry with this one. I'm going angry with this. I don't care where the team morale goes. It could go to the toilet for all I care. We shouldn't be losing to Hull. We were two goals down at halftime, were we not? Wasn't it three one? I mean, off man. That last bit no is the bit Thanks that's so really much. fucked me off the most. They can they can deserve the game all day long. But it's that last bit of play. That last bit with Shu Hu. Just having nothing. No option to pass to. That's what's really fucked me off. I'm actually... <sighs> I just... Ah! Oh. Be let all my frustrations up. Sorry if it's loud, boss. Just want to say I'm grateful that you kept me in mind even when I was out like, injured. I'm really glad to be back playing. Yeah, you were quite shit that game. I'm not gonna lie, um, but just keep working hard. Player injured, Bruno Caballero. Oh, we're back with the fucking broken toes. And I thought, and again, we're gonna <laughs> just do a little Google search, and you guys can play along at home. How? Long does a broken oh shit broken toe take to heal this most broken toes heal well usually within four to six weeks hmm. 
So that that, that allows six weeks maximum. How the fuck is it a three month problem? With professional physios, it should be within a month. But you know, I just <laughs> we're not getting promoted. Playoffs are probably down the swanee. Message here from Milan Vidovic. So to let you know I'm feeling good, boss Rids coming for Bruno Caballero if you need me next game. Um I've already thought about that. Um I've not thought about it yet, to be honest. I expected it to just be a short injury due to the fact that he didn't have to come off the pitch initially. But uh I just I mean what do, what can you say? What can you say about this episode? I'm really fucked off with that end though. We get a point there if we have any help for Shuhu. So just to uh, cover the results from this episode, we kicked off really nicely with an easy course of a win. It could have been a clean sheet, but a 4-1 win over Bristol City. It helped that they got a red card early, but a 4-1 win over Bristol City. We then had a nice, calm, cool, collected, clean win over Cardiff. Dominated them and uh, we had no problems there. And then we lost to Sheffield. We had a two-week break. Apparently, I thought, oh, our players will be rested and it would be good. We'll be even in better form. We lose 3-2 to Sheffield Wednesday in a game that we deserve to lose. And quite frankly, I don't know if we deserve to be in. And it was the same story with Hull. But the one I, the one I have with Hull, the problem I have with Hull, and we, I've made it transparent now. We've gone over it about the past five minutes. Not only has um, Shuhu played good for once, at the end of that game we'll go over it again if you just joined you could hear my rant he has nothing on I, I went back and watched the instant replay and showed how we have four players but none of them were able to make any space for Shuhu to deliver it to I was wondering maybe if I just shoot it with Shuhu and hope but uh, that wouldn't have worked so we lost 3-2 to the bottom team in the league and that's the other thing that's fucked me off They're the bottom team in the league and they came up playing like prime Barcelona they uh, Mon Kerr turned to prime Henri hat trick before half time it just, it, there's not a lot of sense in it, to be quite honest with you. Anyway, I mean, rant over. I guess you can't, you can't alter the past, can you? I mean, it, what's done is done. Next episode, though, we've got Barnsley at home, which they're 23rd, so we'll probably lose to them as well. We've got Swansea at home, Sheffield United away, which is going to be arguably the most difficult, especially as we're going to, uh, I forgot the stadium name. We're going to Sheffield United Stadium. And then we take on Middlesbrough away as well. Those These four games should have all been wins. And really needed to all be wins. Because looking at the calendar, what's coming, it's not going to be easy. Swansea, probably the only easy game of that month. We've got Sheffield United, who are probably going to be trying to play for playoffs as well. Middlesbrough in the same boat. Blackburn, admittedly, they've not had a great start to the season, but they have got the quality. So I wouldn't bet against them. And in Nottingham Forest, they're probably another one going for playoffs as well. And it, like I said, every game is a hard game in this league. But those ones there were must wins. We've all got six points out of 12. And the, those are games you can't trip up on. Look at the table though before we end off. We have three points adrift of Millwall who occupy that sixth playoff spot. We've scored the most in the league now by quite a commanding amount. But no point scoring if we can't defend. And the, the best thing is, Norwich and Watford are choking. So if we'd won both those games, we would have finished this episode third, two points behind Watford in that automatic promotion spot, three points off the top. But of course, things didn't go our way. Reading down the table, Sheffield Wednesday in 14th. Hull probably out of the relegation zone with that win, to be honest. Not nearly, though. Um, they're in the relegation zone along with Barnsley and Bristol. Blackburn have kind of recovered it a little bit this season so far, but like I said... If they've still got Bert and Diaz, it's not going to be an easy run. Top scorers at the moment, 13 and 13 for Jay Mason, a constant form giver on this team. The only one that seems to be at the moment. Actually, that's a lie. It was Cab Caballero had just got back into his form as well. But of course, now he's injured. And Yeksov, Yeksov, I have to admit as well, he's been good. I'd expected a goal from him in that match, but couldn't quite deliver, unfortunately. Top assist makers, Mason and Caballero joint on seven. Shuhu in there with four. Volchenkov in there with five as well. I didn't even notice that. I didn't clock that. Um, Vlasic just sneaking in with three. And it's been a clean sheet from each of our goalkeepers so far this season, I believe. I don't think either of them are actually on the leaderboard, but we'll go and 
No, he won't go in, actually. Actually, no, he will go into the squad hub because I'm going to see how many Shu Hu's scored. I don't usually do this, but Shu Hu's been really got my wick, so I kind of want to see. Volchenkov and Yeksov have both outscored him. Yeksov has scored 6 in 6, and Shu Hu scored 4 in 13. I think I know who my goal is so far this season, and uh, quite frankly. I've got to start Yeksov over Shu Hu, don't I? Realistically. Performing better. I mean, Shu Hu did score out last game. He did bag, to be fair. But he's just he, it's not been great for him this season. Four goals and we're 14 games into the season. I don't know about that one, Chief. At least Jay Mason's striking, but... It's not just the striking end. It's the defensive end as well. We're just not performing defensively. But um, anyway, I'm, I'm going to stop my rant. I mean, I'm probably going to continue it off screen I'm, I'm actually still flabbergasted how Hull eight goals in the whole season just dominated and decimated us not not a clue really not a clue but anyway that is going to end another episode of the Bradford City not Bradford City fucking hell it's face I'm four seasons in and I'm still going Bradford City the um, you know actually let's check how Bradford City are doing on that note Again, I don't usually do this either, but it's my career mode, so screw off. Are they still in League 2? Oh, you go on. Portsmouth are top, like they should be. Bradford City in the automatic promotion spots. Let's go. If we get relegated, we could face them again. In all seriousness, though, it's um, not looking good for promotion. But then again, we did have a shit run in League 1, and then we ended up winning the title, so... Anything yeah, can happen. But like I said, that is going to end this episode of the Cullingworth FC Career Club Career Mode. Got it right that time. Season 4, episode 5, I believe. It might be episode 6. I don't... Too many... There's too many episodes at this point. But I hope you guys have enjoyed my um, my wins and my rage in, when we've lost as well. One more thing I want to check. Do we have the FA Cup draw yet? It doesn't look like it. So that, like I said, is going to end that. I'll see you next time for some more frustration and hopefully jubilation.